TIFK screen going on for a minute. Thank you. Kenley, thank you for the team with Reese if I appreciate it. Hello, friends. Brush my teeth. I should. Uh oh. Uh, stinky. Bosk, I actually cannot believe you've been here for 10 months. I mean, like, I can, but I can't. Gangsters, like what's forever. up, guys? This train is gay, and it does have no brakes. Thank you for the 100 biddies to satisfy. Thank you. Hi, Lonely. Hi, Melon. Hi, Fennis. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Carnage. Hi, Sarnix. Carnage, thank you for the gifting. For the gifting. Thank you for gifting two subs to the community. I appreciate it. Everyone give a sub. I need to adjust my monitor real quick. It's not staying up properly. Melon! Thank you for gifting Lonely a sub! Lonely. Thank you for the raid. Hello, friends. My name is Sarah. I'm a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've been following since February 2018. It's since 2018? Bosk, are you serious? You're fucking with me, right? You're fucking with me. It's been that long? Wow! I love McLovin. Me too. That emote makes, or that uh, alert makes me very happy. Can I turn on this light? That's kind of like weird to not it. Y'all, I think a stomach bug is going around in the community because every one of us has like stomach issues today. My stomach is not feeling so hot. I did have spicy ramen, so that's probably why. And yeah, I've also been cramping. So we'll see how long I can play for. I will try to burn through more of the MSQ though. We're so close to a hype, uh, a hype trainee thing in Bob. Let's see if we can get it. Sorry, Super 69 videos, I appreciate it. When I was first playing Horizon Zero Dawn, I feel like you actually told me this. I feel like I remember you telling me this. Let's go, but I hope you have fun. Thank you, young sailor scout. Take care. Go have a chicken nuggie, my treat. Bro, I will actually order chicken nuggies. They will make me shit even more, but I will do it. Bro, hi! So, you told us last night that you were installing Final Fantasy XIV. How's that going? Hmm? How's that going for you? Come on, update us. Spicy ramen goes so hard, worth it? Oh, absolutely. It was definitely worth it. My body will be suffering later, but like, you know. Oh, you're making your cake right now? Ah! And so it begins. And so it begins. Drew, you better keep us updated in, um, in the Final Fantasy chat. I want to see pickies. Are you making an aura? Are you making a cat girl? Who are you making? What are you making? And don't forget to make sure your character is on uh, Goblin. That way you can join our our guild. The cult grows, it does indeed. McDonald's nuggets are the best, they are the best. But my stomach does not like them. Gonna play more here in a bit? Hell yeah. I was gonna make miso ramen for dinner, but I didn't have corn, so chili noodles and stir fried veggies instead. Hey, that still sounds really good. I would love some of that. I'll definitely keep you updated. I'm being a cat girl. I want to be a wedding girl, but I'm just on free trial, so I couldn't. No! Well, cat girl it is. Cat girls are great. I love me a cat girl. I love the Mikotes. Any good guide slash starting guide for Final Fantasy XIV? Um, my guide for Final Fantasy XIV was Sarnix. So. I mean, I'm sure there are good guys out there. I don't know of any. Starnix and Boss kind of helped me through most of it. Uh, through most of my confusion, like, just, they were there to help me out. The community helped me. Twitch chat helped me. I didn't really have to look up any guides. So if you would like help, uh, you can join our Discord server and you can chat in our little Final Fantasy chat. That way, the community can help you out a bit. I know, Ishtola's best girl. That's wifey, baby. Guess who's coming to Goblin today? Yes! More Goblinos! Hell yeah. Okay, I am like super laid back in my chair. Are y'all cool with this? Is this okay? Is this a little too low? 
Should I be higher up? I'm very comfy. I'm a little too comfy, honestly. Yeah, so today's plan, I already did my dailies, I did them earlier. So my plan now is to just burn through more of the MSQ. I do have to do some of the astro quest, like job quest line things. Who just kissed me? Who just kissed me? Someone just kissed me. Who just blew me a kiss? Oh, was, was it Lonely? Lonely, was that you? <laughs> Comfy vibe? Yeah. My carpal tunnel is like kicking my ass as well. So if y'all see me massaging my hands, don't worry about it. Did I leave my- I fucking left my water in the kitchen. Give me one second. Merry Christmas, Ronan. How are you? You work at 4.45 in the morning? Good lord. And you're up right now? Oh, the hydration. Look how grimy it is. I gotta wash it. <laughs> Best Buy and we open at 5 a.m. Oh, yeah, Vlad does too, and he's been fucking complaining about it. I cannot imagine what it's like to work at Best Buy during uh, Black Friday and Boxing Day. Chaos. Top, mashallah, may Allah stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Do not, do not bring up the fact that your mother, your mother thought I was tempting men with my low cut shirt. I should be wearing it, honestly. I feel like I'm playing myself every time I go live and I don't have my titties jiggling around. What's the point of streaming if my boobs aren't in the spotlight? You know what I mean? All right, anyways, we're diving straight into the game because I want to play. All right, how's this? Cool? We good? I turn this off. Chilling. I'm a little bit low. Okay. That's actually Mike is kind of low. Is this okay? Hello? Do you want me to be louder? Do I need to speak up or do I just need to adjust my gain? Matt, thank you for a three month resub. Oh, are my alerts not going off? The uh, hell? Thank you, Omni. It's nice to see you. Wait, what? Apply. Right here. There we go. Hi, Owen. How are you, Owen? It's nice to see you. You're ditching Jay's stream to come hang out here? Iconic. Men obviously, size obviously tempting girls and catboys. No, you're so right. 
I just want an army of cat boys and an army of Orshifon. Come on. Oh, he just ended? Oh, okay. Never mind. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna take my Advil. some more Final Fantasy 14. My carpal tunnel is kind of fucking me up a little bit today, but nothing I can't handle. Whew. Should I get should I get chicken nuggets? Big Spender Sarnik sent me 69 bits, so I can afford one nugget with that. I don't really bruise at all, but I have a massive purple bruise, which tells you how hard I hit my leg today. Oh, oh. How'd you hit your leg? What happened? Ooh, this is kind of nice. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I'm all close. Oh, oh boy. All right. Maybe Thursday watch isn't on tonight and I'm off to work tomorrow, so here I am. We love to see it. I'm now your uh, usual Thursday watch. Head covering. <laughs> Our next stop. One nuggy as a treat, just one. Just the one. Hey Reeves, how are you? I just checked how long I've been here for. How long? Tell us. Chicken nuggies are always a good idea. You're so right. You're so right, bestie. All right, let me lotion up my hands real quick. Okay. Wait, where the fuck did Sarnix go? What the hell? All right. I think my hand is all lotioned up now. Oh, August 15th? Stop. 2018? Y'all have been here forever, and I think that's, I think that's amazing. I think that's great. All right, what class should I play? What class should I do the MSQ with? Should I just go back to Dark Knight? Nah, you know what? I should level something else. Should I level Dragoon? Should I level, should I level Summoner some more? Ooh, should I level Reaper? Should I try Reaper again? I could. I really want to figure this class out. It's really fucking cool. The thing about working at a school is all the days, all these kids have off. I also have work off. Oh yeah, that must fucking slap. Bath was a bit slippery when shampoo with shampoo. So when I stepped into the shower, my face was. Oh. That fucking sucks. Are you okay though? Like, are you fine? God damn. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'm just thinking, I'm thinking what class I want to play. I want, you know, I really want to do some leveling. But I don't want to do that on stream. I mean, I could. I could do it on stream. But that, that's not what we're doing today. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna play, we're gonna play Dragoon for a little bit. We're gonna play Dragoon for a bitsy. <gasps> no, my Vosk. Echoes of an Echo. Righty back over here reaper is fire reaper is fire it's very cool i just don't understand it i know i know i'm trying not to get distracted happy colonizers day Ugh, disgusting yeah i am not a thanksgiving celebrator and i mean i'm canadian so i don't even celebrate today anyways <laughs> I would just like to not have any quests here in El Amigo because navigating is not fun. Oh, my wrist, my entire right arm is fucked. I'm just moving my thumb around so I could like, you know, like turn the camera and I can feel it shooting up my my shoulder. So hopefully this Advil kicks in. I might have to take two. Hi, Bull. How are you? I'm having so much fun as Dragoon. Yeah, Dragoon is a fun class. I don't understand it. I don't know my rotation, but like, I like it. We be going inside? I guess so. I guess that's what I'm doing. I'll live. Good. Oh yes, we were doing this quest. 
I have to send J3 a snap. Yep. Okay, let's see. So, gather information. I guess this is going to be the second spot, right? Fallen scrap of. Oh, no, 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 no. So, this did nothing. And then there's the flame investigator that we got to speak to. And there are all these dead bodies, right? So many bodies. Oh! That was it? Ah! Well, <laughs> all right, that was easy. I swear I spoke to them yesterday, though. I guess it didn't count? I know little and less of science, so any light you can shed on this facility's operations would be much appreciated. Pepper, shall we start with you? Yeah, start with me. I know, I don't use Snapchat either, but this motherfucker was like, Ooh, you can chat with me on there, it's easier. I was like, I bet. Taken in combination with the testimonies of Kryle and Thancred, I do begin to see exactly what the Imperials were attempting here. This music? Interesting. It's getting extra moody. You could call me honey. Nuggies. The enhancement procedure entailed infusing a single candidate with ether siphoned from a multitude of supply subjects. Melon! Thank you for the 25 gifted subs. As for the master subject, in this case, Kryle, the patterns of her etheric activity would provide the model upon which they would artificially engineer the candidate's aura. <laughs> you can call me deaf. <laughs> that scared y'all! That fucking scared me! In other words, they were trying to recreate Kyle's echo. Yeah. Some of my alerts are very loud. I should probably change them. I believe so, which would explain our prisoner's present state. Kyle is possessed of an unrivaled ability to hear the whispers of the soul, and it seems probable that the procedure engendered the same acute sensitivity in Ferdola. Is your username Gooch Nerd? Nice. The soldiers who got for Dola. Many of them lost friends and family to the skulls. I'm not doing my fucking accent today. I can't do it. And there's a sentry at her door night and day. If she can't help sensing their thoughts and seeing their past. It's being burdened by everyone's misery. You don't just see their past. Live it. All the emotion. All the pain. Imagine what it'd do to you. You'd never be the same again. So that's what's like going on with me too, except not to the same degree, right? Because mine is more spaced out. Indeed, as you may recall, Isail was completely transformed by a single glimpse of Freysvilger's past. Oh yeah. Isail! Bordola has been forced to experience the agony of those who live, whose lives she destroyed. The guilt must be unbearable. Oh man. If I... File my nails, can y'all hear it? That explains her request to be executed. Can y'all hear this? It sounds to me like a kind of justice. Regardless, she can suffer on for now. <laughs> we have more pressing matters to consider. This bitch really said she could suffer? If the results of these experiments have been re relayed back to Garlemald, there will be naught to stop the Empire from repeating the trick. They could give the echo to anyone, to an entire legion. music is we must be ready we must learn all we can of these godforsaken procedures and for Dola remains our best source of information she'll not be getting her wish not yet this music if i have to hear this throughout the entirety of like the patches i will lose my mind hello ashley yes these are all spoilers babes right Keep faith, lass. If you're to convince others to follow you, you must believe what you're telling them. People will respond to passion, but not if it's feigned. True! That's a good line. I like that line. I understand. Thank you, General. More like rub on. I'd rub on him. We should leave the flames to it. Let's go. E. Allons-y, Philemon. All right. 
Let's collect this, uh, this XP. Also, let me, let me eat my, my chocolate. I go looking for answers about the Echo and end up getting schooled by Raban. Yet more evidence that I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's no wonder people listen to him and not me. Oh, Lise. Stop making me feel for you. I built up this whole act of me not liking you. You can't do this to me now. General Alden is a veteran of countless campaigns, Lee. I cannot compare yourself to a commander of his experience. That is very true. I know, but I also know that I couldn't have convinced that mob to give up and go home. It makes me realize how much we rely on his authority, and how much I still have to learn. You're young! You've got a long way to go! People will learn to listen and respect you. I wonder what he'll do when everything here is settled. I mean, it's the homeland. If we're going to the trouble of winning it back, might he not want to stay? That's what I was thinking! But there's Nanamo or whatever back at back in Old Da. Doesn't he still like work for her? Isn't he still like her bodyguard? There's a quan quandary with which countless refugees now face to continue the life they built in Old Da or start again in the land of their birth. Mm -hmm. What is she doing? Pepper, a moment. Hi, Pip. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. I'm newly returned from Ulda with a message from the Sultana. <gasps> Speak of the devil! Her grace desires an, desires an audience with you. She understands that you have responsibilities here, but asks that you visit the palace at her earliest convenience. Oh. I'm excited! Well, I must away and attend to other businesses. Until next time, my friends. Bye, Pip! An audience with the Sultana. Depending on the nature of her cons consultation, this might be the perfect opportunity to inquire about the general's future plans. Yes, we'd all like to know about those, Alfino, but not everyone's as comfortable interrogating royalty as you. <laughs> Take no notice of it, Pepper! Don't kill me! Why'd you gotta do Alfino like that? Come on! Pippin is hot? I know. I, I really like Pippin. I got a crush on Pippin. I can't even deny that. Um, oh, there it is. Alfino's thoughts appear to have turned from adventure to administration. Hi, Stingray! How you doing? Well, the question of how to put the Mad King's treasures to good use shows no sign of answering itself. Shall it be about it, Erinvald? I am at your beck and call. I should be getting back to my own task. I'll organize a squad to head down into the ruins and start preparing for the big meeting. Oh, send an my regards, Pepper. Is it Nanamo? Nanamo? Not I don't remember. An hour's two, if you please. We shall see you on your return. A crush on Pippin? You mean when you roll over in bed? That's mean. Take that back. He may be small, but he's mighty. Like Pepper. Pepper may be baby. But she's our baby. Do I have another outfit I want to wear? Not really. I speak with Bartholomew and Ulda. I'm on my way. Oh, you know what? Let me also quickly go. Hello? Wait. Let me also quickly go to the gold saucer. Um, I think I have some cards to turn in. Hi, Perfect Com. It's nice to see you. How do we feel about this camera? Should I zoom out a bit? Am I a little too close? I don't know. Is this better? I feel like this is better. But like a little zoom in makes it like a little more personal. Felt in my space. <laughs> Where am I going? It was here. Could <laughs> not be like mini me? Mini oh my god, mini me. Not mini me. Oh, I love her little outfit. Her outfit is so cute. Look at this little dress. It might actually be a swimsuit. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to look underneath. 
But it's so cute! It's so cute! I'm obsessed! Okay. I don't think there's anything here that I want to get, but let's quickly play uh, this and then and then we'll continue on. Alrighty, alrighty, let's see if I can get a one, two, three. Huh? Well, that's that's the only place it could have been, so let's see. Eleven 19? No, we're not doing that one. Um, this could be a 17? No, that's not worth it. I don't really want to go down. You know what? We'll just do this. 72! Fuck me, I guess. Alright. Let's see. That's a 6. Okay, so we could get one here. Get one here. That one here. no. Ooh! That could be a seven. But this could also be a one, two, three. We'll risk it. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Let's see. So that's a seven. Okay, let's see what we can get up here. That's a three. What can we get here? That's a four. Okay. And this is a five. Okay. So no one, two, threes. No seven, eight. Oh, actually, no. This could be a seven, eight, nine. That's fine, though. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Hold on. It's a swimsuit. It's so cute. It is so freaking cute. I want it. I want it. Hi, Chief Beef. How you doing? This does not count as a gambling str I mean, I guess, kind of. Don't tell anybody. I feel like I haven't been in Ulda in forever. I avoid this place like the plague. I should write a thesis about Thancred's input on the story. Unfortunately, it would turn to simping real quick. <laughs> Thancred's a cutie patootie. I, I like him. I don't know... I don't have, like, too much of an opinion on Thancred, but his loyalty towards Minfilia and Kryle, I don't know. Something about that shit got me simping. Got me on my knees. And I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> is Thancred in the other games? Or is he a 14 character? Alright, Bartholomew, hello. You expect my lady. Please proceed. You just need him to shave! No, you're so right. He needs to shave and cut his damn hair. I thank you for answering my summons in these most interesting times. You have been busy. Been a lot on my plate. The liberation of Alamigo will have far-reaching consequences, and there is a matter upon which I would seek your counsel. I speak of Rauban and his future. By the way, am I in patch 4.1? Or is it still 4.0? All know the tale of his rise from penniless refugee to member of the Syndicate and General of the Immortal Flames. Yet though he has come to call Uldar home, it will never be his homeland. I'm glad she's bringing it up He is a I son could. of Alamigo. I love the quartz on her headdress. Oh. And now that she is free... I thought it only a matter of time before he sought my leave to return to her. Indeed, I had resigned myself to his loss. Suffice it to say, I was greatly surprised to hear him speak so lightly of handing over the reins in Alamigo and retaking his place at my side. I will welcome him with open arms, of course. He is my most trusted advisor and my dearest friend. Oh, that's what we're calling him? But I have Your known the man a long friend. time, and beneath that steely gaze, I spied a flicker of doubt. Whether Rauban chooses to remain in Uldar or return to Alamigo, I only wish that he do so with a heart unburdened by guilt or regret. 
Yet, how can he freely make such a choice, knowing how much I depend on him? It is past time that I learned to discharge my duties as a sultana alone. I must go forth and see my realm with my queen. own eyes, and Literally. hear the wind with my own ears. Good girl, boss. Might I have your company for a brief adventure? Oh? Where are we going? Wonderful. Allow me a moment to change into something a touch less conspicuous, and I will join you outside. Oh yeah, doesn't she have that little, like, robe gear or whatever, where she, like, hides her, like, hair and stuff? I think I remember that. <laughs> outside the quicksand? Where do I go? Alright, we're going this way. Okay, so I am in 4.1. Perfect. I just wanted to make sure that I titled the stream correctly. Cause I have a habit of not knowing what the hell, like where the hell I am. <laughs> where are my my cat ears? I'm so sorry. The illusion. Thank you, Sarah. Me doing the MSK without my cat ear? Blasphemy. Chat, your immersion. I'm so sorry. As you see on thus graph, the more people thusly fucked around, they thusly found out. <laughs> Fuck around and find out! Oh man, I... I... I don't know, I like the duo of Nanamo or Nanamo, whatever, and... Um, and Robon, I think they're really cute, or Raubon, whatever. I think they're very cute, but... It does feel fitting that he stays at home, Al Amigo, especially considering Lisa's doubts. Or maybe he could like go back and forth, but I guess people might question where his loyalty lies. Oh my god, I know the well actually is. Ugh. Thankfully, like there aren't too many in the Final Fantasy community, I've noticed. The, like, the worst aspect of the Final Fantasy community, or Final Fantasy XIV community, is the amount of backseat gamers. But they're so- but the problem is, like, they're not even mean about it. They're very nice, but it's like... Let them play their game, you know? First I'm doing. Look how cute I look. See, it's moments like this where I want my game on my other monitor because I feel like this side of my face looks way better than this side of my face. But we. Alright. Look how cute. I, I'm sorry, but like these cat ears. Pepper the Queen? Me? Who's Teddy Monk? Golden Eye, is that you? Are you Teddy Monk? Like, look! Carnage, is that you? Those are bunny ears? No, they're not. They're Mikote ears. Ca the Mikote ears are very, like, funky, you know? Because they're, like, they're long. Look how pretty! Okay. I'm the red mage right next to you. What? Wait, hold on. Wait, where's Teddy Monk? Wait, Teddy, where's Teddy Monk though? Because, hold on. So there's you, there's Dadalan Small, but then who's Teddy Monk? There, a Teddy Monk uh, sent me a whisper, but they couldn't have done that unless they were near ish to me? No, that's not how that works. <laughs> I have a Viera face? What What does that mean? I put Teddy since it's my actual nickname. My friends my friend said monk. Hey. I send you I send you friend wait, no, that's not you. But I'll send this person a friend request anyways. That's gold so Goldenite, that's you? You're the you're this? You're cute. I like your outfit and I like your tattoos. But Teddy Monk, where the fuck are you? 
Wait, you have- wait, we're friends? We're already friends? We are? Are we? <gasps> we are. Hell yeah. The bunny goes from Final Fantasy? Look, honey, I didn't ask what a Viera was. I asked- uh, I- Never mind. Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. It's not worth it. <laughs> Actually, no, it is. I know what a Viera is. I'm quite literally playing a Final Fantasy game. I meant, what do you mean by me having a, 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 v, uh, uh, a Viera face? I have a Viera face? Like, what does that mean? Also, where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm going in. There. Did I cancel the friend request? No, 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 no. I like having viewers in my friend list. That way I can find you all. <laughs> How long have you two idiots been here? <laughs> Perchance you remember Lyra, the Lyra, the merchant's daughter, the persona I assume when I venture beyond the palace walls to observe my subjects unnoticed. Ordinarily, Papashan would accompany me, but for this particular outing, I need an advisor, not a minder. And that is why I requested your company. Over the course of your many adventures, you have met people from all walks of life in every corner of Eorzea, and I would make use of the worldly experience. Now, let us be on our way. Our first destination is Stone's Throw, just beyond the Gate of Null. Alrighty. And that is... Hello? Hello? See, this is what I mean. I love, I love finding, like, all of you guys just kind of hanging around. It's cute! It's cute! And it feels so immersive that way, too! <laughs> Vieras are really pretty. But, like... How do I look like... Like, what do you mean I have a Viera face? I have the face of a Viera? I got a big nose! They don't got big noses. Oh. Um, Drew said she posted her cat girl. I gotta see this. Oh, she's so fucking cute! Look! Look! Look at this Mikote! Look at her! Oh, she's so cute! Uh, I have a chocobo face? Can we get a command chocobo in the chat? That is fucking rude. Not even that far. This is so freaking cute. Alright, chat. Now we have to help Drew on her adventures in Eorzea. Look upon the procession of tattered tents. Oh, this procession of tattered tents. These refugees camped in squalor, at the mercy of the elements and vandalized predators both. The city's mighty walls offer safety, but the streets overflow with people as it is. And unless blessed by the hand of Nald himself, no refugee could ever hope to afford a dwelling in Ulda. Twenty years have passed since the fall of Alamigo and five since the calamity, but the plight of the poor has grown more desperate, not less. As Sultana, the blame falls upon me. You have done your best, your grace. Your hands have been tied. You have done your best! Then my best has not been good enough. Shall we press on? I follow the road to the unholy air. Just use the chocobo. I. Chat, can someone look up the de the the definition of a joke? Satire, even. She will use the mount from a dear part husband. Exactly. If my husband is giving me a chocobo, you better believe I will use it. I will ride that. That chicken? Dare I say cock? I'm joking too, maybe you should look it up. Maybe you should get better at your delivery. Sorry about it. What do you mean, Ayo? Look! 
Look, if I couldn't have... Okay, look. He's dead. I couldn't ride that dick when he was alive? I'm gonna ride it in some other way, okay? Okay? It was here, in this holy, unremarkable place, that my mother and father met their doom. I was but a child at the time. My parents were returning from an inspection of our interest in Eastern Thanaland when an untimely rock slide crushed their carriage. To this day, it is not certain if the incident was fortune. Expertly fascinating. Raban once offered to reopen the investigation, bringing the truth. I must surely crave. I refuse. Even if my parents' death were orchestrated by the were orchestrated by the mon monetarists, they could only have brought their hi their hireling to justice. The true villains, those who plotted to put me on the throne as a biddable puppet, were ever beyond our reach. Thus did I plan to strip the merchants of their power and place our nation in the hands of its citizens. Quite unaware of the consequences my actions would have for you and yours, I shudder to think how many goodly souls Christ of mine I visit Whatever. But I'm no longer a child reciting words in wit with witless obedience, and I will not be used as a pawn in the monetarist damnable games. Yeah, queen! Forgive me my outburst. You're one of the few people to whom I feel I can speak my mind. Come, let's return to Ulda and visit the Colosseum. That's it? That was the whole adventure? So... So, Sire, question. Hypothetically, say the server shut down permanently tomorrow. Knowing this, where do you log out? Alright. So. So. If the servers were to shut down permanently in, in roleplay fashion, I would go Orshifant's grave north of Camp Dragonhead and I would sit there, and Pepper would, would be able to, you know, recount her adventures to him, you know, give him that update, tell him what he what she's been up to. She would have her last bit of cocoa, and wait for things to come to an end. That way, she could be reunited with him. And no, I'm not crying. There would be 2,500 people there. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I don't give a fuck. Even if I couldn't make it, I'd be close enough. It's in my heart, and that's what matters. Yeah, that's what I would do. And if not there, I would probably go to his like throne, maybe. Maybe sit there. Only pepper matters in that moment? Exactly! Exactly, because that's the most common answer? That's fine! I don't give a fuck! I don't care if it's a common answer! That's where I would go! Final Fantasy XI online is still up. Squeenix and take things down. Final Fantasy XI? Was that the bad one? I shouldn't call it bad, sorry, but wasn't that the one that not many people you play or whatever? It was the first emulated. Ah, okay, okay. No, 14 was the bad one? <laughs> not the NPC energy. Not NPC energy. Wow, 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 wow. Me, move me up. Do, 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 do. I'm doing MSQ, so if you need any assistance, I'll be around. Thank you, I appreciate that. Bye. 40 was allegedly bad before it got rebooted, but you know they didn't quite kill it. Yeah, well, that's what I was told. I was told that this game was awful, and then I just kept getting better and better and better, which we love to see. From the moment I became Sultana, I found myself thrust into an endless parade of document signing and ceremonies. For years, I simply signed where I was told to sign and sat where I was told to sit, blissfully oblivious to what any of it meant. It, one good thing did come from that... Ignominy? 
chapter in my life. I feel like I know that word, but I can't say it. For it was during an official visit to Coliseum that I first met Roban. The match I had been invited to attend was not at all what I expected. It had pitted the Bull of Alamigo against some dozen or so rival gladiators. Blinkered though I was, I would not stand for so obvious an injustice. I demanded to see a fair fight, one man against another. My royal wish was duly granted. It was not until later that I learned of the gambling ring which had been arranged which had arranged for Roban to die on the sands that day. Regardless, my intervention meant that Roban had but a single opponent to dispatch, when he duly did, which he duly did. And when he knelt before me to receive the winner's purse, he swore that he would one day offer me his blade in service. Surrounded as I, as I was by liars and manipulators, I confess I dismissed it as a pleasant fighter. But as you know, Roban is a man of his word, so it took him another five years of fighting on the blood sand. He amassed a fortune so great as to buy not only him, but his Then I had my blade. I love him! Am I gonna see it now? <laughs> Back when he had two arms. Why did he drop me? <sighs> drama? Woo! Good lord! Zaddy? <sighs> Zaddy? You mustn't! The danger is too great! Please, Your Grace, come back! Oh, I beg of you! You tell me you can't catch her? <laughs> it seems you're the one who needs looking after, Master Shum! <laughs> Grab on! Your Grace! I have kept the promise made. So you have, and in turn, so too shall I keep mine. With your winnings, you have become one of the six most wealthy souls in all Ulda. And so, as tradition dictates, Rauben Aldin, you have earned yourself a seat on the Syndicate. May your new station garner you still greater glories. I am honored, Your Grace, and vow to serve with every fiber of my being from this day till my last. Long live God, the when? Sultana, and long when? live Ulda! When? I just want a big person to carry me around. I love them. I... Hello? Oh. Oh, whoa. But they gone. Oh, they gone. <laughs> Cannot, ex cannot well express what that man means to me. There are others who care deeply for my well-being, of course. Papa Sean's love for me is that of a grandsire for his grandchild. But upon matters of governance, I cannot turn bodyguards and maidservants to counsel. Roban, with the authority of his first sword I could wield, his was the only edge which cut the string that bound me. Ah, a sultana's strings. I get it now. I'm gonna take the tea. I want money. I want the tea. No, I want the money. The Namo seems lost and thoughts of the past. We must make haste. My absence will not go unnoticed by the Sultan's horn for long. There are other places I would visit. 
to the Arzeneth Ostrary. Okay. Growing ostriches there? I don't know who's Mikote that was, but it was so cute. They just they played peekaboo. <laughs> Where did you purchase a comforter? Who kissed me? Who kissed me? Hello? You giving me kisses? My comforter from my Instagram story. What comforter? You mean like the white one I have? I think that was from the bay. The beige one. I think that's from the bay. I'll, I'll give you a kiss too. It's okay. You can give big kissy too. I give kisses to everybody. Nice FC tag. Thank you. Wait. I can't type. My typing is not going off. Thank you. Is this a viewer or is this a random? I'll never know. Think of it hydration, Elijah. I appreciate it. Amazon does not offer the greatest selections. Amazon blankies are kind of cute, I will not lie. Um, but I get my quality blank. I get head pads. I get my quality blankies from um from the bay, from Hudson's Bay. But that's a Canadian store. I actually no, I think you might be able to order online, but it, most of those locations are only in Canada. I go bye bye. <gasps> okay. What? Oh, he just bonked me on the head. So I go here. Okay, bet. Can someone explain Canadian tire? Well, there are tires that are Canadian. Canadian tire is like Home Depot, but it's Canadian. The calamity threatened. Raban left. I prayed with all my heart that Archon rouse the twin. That day, this shrine, like here, I see the blessing of reflect upon. You are rightly celebrated as a champion because you have led the line in a hundred battles for the good of Eorzea. In much the same way, I believe the measure of a monarch lies in how she treats her people in time of adversity. Come on. If I am to be a sultana worthy of the name, I cannot turn a blind eye to the troubles we saw. I have chosen my path, Pepper. Bell amigo now free to chain. Finally see a way to aid the refugee. Already, many displaced El Amigo. To facilitate that process, I have made a small contribution. Artists and followers reach for any who wish to praise. Realistically, however, it will take years to such a to build him. We do not have years. We'll need shelter and employment there to survive, and this time the old Dawn treasury shall provide. Unless they learn how to allocate the missing funds is, of course, another question. Oh! 
gonna say the money or the the treasure trove that they found could be a but Why'd you ask a member of the syndicate for advice? Why not see the advice of one who employs refugee? Why suggestion? May have the physical saucers in order. Oh no. Proprietor is a member of the syndicate, and he's one of the few. Fair wage. I wonder, are you acquainted with Godbert Manderville? He's most generous. Something of an of an eccentric. Well, let us make our way to the landing, and I will see if that word sent to the gold saucer. should But you telling me I went to the gold saucer for nothing? Because now the MSQ is taking me there? <laughs> it would be nice if I could just, you know, meet them there. But I guess as story goes. Oh, perfect. Airship left. Unless they're gonna request that he comes to us. I've ridden aboard a public airship before, but this shall be my first visit to the gold saucer. Oh, her first? I must confess to some excitement. Oh, wait. How's Drew doing? How's her gaming experience going? Is she having fun? Look okay. Oh, she's looking around. All right. <laughs> I had heard descriptions of its splendor, yet I never dreamed it'd be so bright and inviting. <laughs> Why are you shrugging? No, no, it couldn't possibly. <gasps> we did not come here to fritter away the royal coin. Oh! Come on, girl. Gamble a little. Live a little, babes. Gobbert will be expecting us. Come, let's head directly to the lounge and ignore these, these gaudy temptations. <laughs> She's so cute. Girl, it's okay. You got lots of money. You're the Sultana. You're chilling, babes. It's all good. Do I not have that? Okay, I was gonna say, do I not have that one spot? <laughs> like, attuned? I believe this is where we are to meet Lord Mandeville. Shall we sit while we. Oh, I just tripped out. Shall we sit while we await his coming? Hi, guys! How are you? There he is. My apologies, Your Grace. I have kept you waiting. Apologies are necessary, Gobbert. My request was sudden, and you were kind to make yourself available at such short notice. When the Sultana herself comes calling, there's no more important engagement. As to the purpose of my visit, I would have your thoughts on how the Crown might best aid the refugees residing in Thanalan. You are aware, I am sure, that many of Alamigos' sons and daughters long to their new liberated. You are also aware of how they will suffer without shelter, work to sustain them. I would use our nation's wealth to spare them that sentence. What advice have you for me on the matter of how it might best be? The unusual circumstances of our meeting, and your grace's choice of companion, thus to me a desire for an honest and unvarnished opinion. I'll give you one. My advice to you is stop. Taxing Uldah's well to save Alamegan refugees is a terrible, terrible idea. Oppose my proposition? Most empathetically, I agree with your grace that refugees have housing and employment, but what profit is there for Uldah? That's a real profit? After all you have done for Girabanya's displaced, I thought you the very last person to seek to benefit from their misfortune. Forgive me, your grace, but you appear to be laboring under their misfortune. It is a fine endeavor to support one's fellow man. Here, however, the dance is one born of pity. Your intent is to save the refugee, not. Same reaction, girl. For all our potential, we are. villain? Creatures by nature. If unconditional charity is all we know, then we begin to rely upon it. 
affect it. Then we must consider Uldah's own poor and down. They hear of you spreading the nation's mind, not to improve their lot, but to nurture the Delamigo. It's unlikely they will applaud your generosity. True! True, why make your people so- mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm with him. I'm sorry, but I agree. Surely it is not your grace's intention to foster any resentment. Spread goodwill. Indeed. Then any support I pledge to the refugees must promote self sufficiency also serving the interests of the Exactly so. Such an arrangement will create a far more equitable relationship with the returning Alamegan, even as it generates the revenue required to remain the subject. Dolan. They do have a thesaurus! Literally! This is like when I'm writing my fanfic and I'm trying to use a different word that I didn't use a hundred times before. Oh! Well, I missed that. Well, I'm glad that worked out well. Don't let her stop stream until Shadowbringers. Do you want me to die? It's that, it's that guy with his boot on the sink. It's that guy with his boot on the sink. It took me a second. What's up? Did you take your boot off your off your sink? Who's kissing me? Who's kissing me? Did that bunny follow me? Someone's kissing me. <gasps> I see you. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. You can't run from me. I got you. I got you. I found you. I got you. No. Oh. Oi. 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 <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. If I if I kiss you, will you wake up? Oh shit, you already woke up, but I'm already kissing you anyways. Oh I get headphones! I get headphones, thank you! <laughs> I know, a quick kiss and run. But it's Tyler? You're not the person who fucked a hot pocket, right? That was somebody else. His name was like Tyler or something. His name was like 420. Fuck, what was his name? 420 Pizza? I think. You remember him? Like 420 Pizza Sauce, 420 Pizza, whatever. And he fucked a Hot Pocket. He was the homie. <laughs> and then he vanished. I joined in at a hell of a time. I'm so sorry. Why do you remember his name? Because I was his friend! We were friends! This was like back in the day when Twitter was like a whole different like... A whole different thing. Like influencers were not a thing. Let me see. Guy fucked hot pocket 420 pizza. I'm pretty sure his name was like Tyler. Oh, guy makes... Oh, I think I found it. Yes! Vers okay, Versace Pop-Tarts! Thought Pocket! Oh my god, yes! What was his name though? What was his name? Oh my god. You can suspend my vine, but you can't choose the fact that I fucked a Hot Pocket. Oh my god, I remember this. What was his name? I had a bucket on my face one day. I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. God, what was this kid's name? Hot pocket porn videos. No, thank you. Be able to find it. Tyler's a good name. Wasn't it Kyle? Was it Kyle? It was like Kyle, Tyler. It was one of those like basic ass white people names. I don't know. 
Both are fitting. Oh wait, did I just get back to where I did? Yeah, I did. I actually must do an Instagram. Someone on Facebook is using your photos as their own. Just report them. Just report them. Actually, you know what? Clip this. Hold on, clip this. Hey, bucko! It's me! The person you're catfishing, or maybe you're not catfishing as me, but you are using my photos. I don't have Facebook. All I use is Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. What you see is what you get. If it's not Cyrus Spooks, it ain't me. That's simple. So, uh, get fucked. All right, thank you. Prophet, the thought never even crossed my mind. But standing about lamenting my knife, 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 Night, naive, naivety, naivety, naive. I can't say that word. Will not do anyone any good. I shall consider my lesson learned and press on. Pepper, are you perchance acquainted with any successful merchants? I know Sarnix. If my attempt at philanthropy is obliged to reap a profit, it would seem wise to consult someone with a knack for business. Hey, Sean. Or Nick. Looking to out a catfish? Is that sub button to ask Syra. Syra Spooks helps you get those catfishes served their just desserts. So don't delay, get them fucked and sub to Syra today. Amen. Amen. Ashraflam, thank you for the 18 months, I appreciate it. Gotta put on one of my compressions. Yeah, catfishing is not fucking cute. Anyone who does it is a fucking loser. You're a fucking loser. Like, what are you trying to gain? Like, are you, like... Man. It, like... It, it makes me so uncomfortable because all I can think of are, like, the people that they're conning. You know? Are you trying to get money from people? Like, a quick buck? Like, what is that? And why me? I ain't that cute! Hmm, ordinarily I would not trust any agent of the East. Oh, no, no. Ricky! Ricky, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Hi, friends. I'm Syra. I am a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. And I'm Ricky's, um, one and only. But yes, hello! Hi! Thank you so much for the raid, BB. I hope you had a great stream. I just looked up one of my old accounts and I'm dying inside. I'm scared on your behalf. A gold saucer? Yeah. Only for the MSQ, though. I gotta stretch, sorry. Ah! Also, Genesis. Hi. <laughs> Alright, back to the game. Hmm, ordinarily I would not trust any agent of the East Al Aldernard Trading Company, but if you hold this cock... Mm, Normally I don't trust you, but hold this cock. But if you hold this Hancock fellow in high esteem, I am content to be led by you. You may repay my faith by journeying to distant Kugane and speaking with him on my behalf. Eager though I am to visit those shores, I am not the leisure for a lengthy sea voyage. Now assuming you will travel as adventurers are wont to do, I shall await your report by the Etherite in Uldah. A fair journey to you, Pepper, and a swift one, if you please. Bye, Ricky. Hold this cock. Hold this cock. -a. Genesis, I miss you already. Oh. Hi, Zen. What you doing? You good? You good? I I don't know why. Okay, let me see if I can if I can add you now. Warren Bellum. Who's that? Who's that? Can I, can I just like open all my friend requests? Please? Send friend request. Oh. Oh! Oh my god, we're good. We're good, buddy. There we go. Yes! Finally! Oh. I can't see your name. There it is. Okay, perfect. Is this Foxfire? 
I don't know. I don't know what that quest is. I am in Stormblood. Yes, I just finished it. We are now in the post patches for Stormblood. Oh, that's you, Loop Guru. Okay. Did I add you correctly yesterday? I think so. I believe so. Uh, it was only yesterday that I was sitting here on a pillow while Jin massaged my head. <laughs> I had such a bad headache. <laughs> Alright, let's see where am I fucking going. Post gets fun? So I've been told. I've been told that the game picks up from here on out and I'm scared. I was about to go but I came for the range right by Starlight Pony and Pe Peonies. Oh, I love pe Peonies are my favorite flower. You have great taste. Did I accept this? Okay, anyways. Righty, let me in, let me in! Give me some voice acting. Never mind. Pepper, to what do I owe the pleasure? Or are you here on business? I beg your pardon? Her grace, Sultana, would have my opinion on how best to invest the wealth of the Mubah. Melon, thank you for gifting us up to Starlight. I appreciate it. My dear Pepper, I have you to thank for this. Recognition, sir. And I am flattered that you came to me. Truly flattered. Why settle for a lowly apprentice when you could have the master? Upon matters of profit, there's no living soul better qualified to advise her grace than Chairman Lollarito. <sighs> a man whose morning exertions are said to fill his guard robe with gold. I should be happy to arrange a meeting for you. They at the Scion's former headquarters in Thanalan? Waking Sands would seem a suitable neutral venue for think. Very well, Pepper, and may your dealings prove fruitful. Are you fucking telling me I came all this way? Just to go back? Alrighty. <laughs> I do still play Pokemon. I haven't played the new one yet, though. Peenies sound like penis? They do. But they're better than penis. Because they smell good. I don't know where I was going with that. Is this another... Hello? Oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, hello? No, you just spawned. Pitch should I use? Should I wear this one? Can't even see my pants! You can't even see that I'm wearing pants! <laughs> um, where are my Christmas fit? <laughs> mm, I kinda. I kinda. Kinda. Kinda wanna go back into this one for a bit. I was debating on it, but it's cute! Merchant friend, have any useful advice to share? Yes, go on up, I'll show you the book. I'll show you With Lolorito, and you agreed to this. I am well aware of his standing in the field of business, but I had hoped to keep the Monceris at arm. Oh, fuck. Nay, I cannot live in fear of the man. I must learn how to treat with him if I am to rule Ulda effectively. Very well, I will meet with Lolorito. Oh, let us go on ahead to the Waking Sands and prepare for his coming. We all say prepare for coming one more time. That's like when I'm telling the person I'm fucking, I'm about to come. Prepare for my coming! <laughs> I'll be right back, chat. Hold on. I forgot I had gyozas, so I just quickly cr uh, grabbed them. Hey, I'm back, bitch. Relax. 
Relax, I've returned. I just want to eat some. I oh, wait. Melon donated $25. That means I gotta get my chicken. Sigh in those ears, I'm not worthy. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> hey, Kelsey. The MSQ is going well. I am making my way through it. Stalling? No, I'm not stalling. I'm just getting nuggies. Okay, should I get nuggies from McDonald's or Popeyes? Actually, I'm kind of feeling Popeyes. What do we think? Popeyes has nuggies? I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm, the chicken sandwiches. Pop. Yeah! I'll get some nugs. Barbecue sauce and sounds. I will get the meters, as always. I will get my bottle of water. Boom. And that cost me. They do side of their buns and butter, yes. I can't get over how good I look. I'm sorry. Perfect. 29 bucks. Boom. Like, I'm sorry. Look at me in these fucking ears. This shit is so cute. These ears are so cute. They're like a part of my personality now. I love them. It's so rare that like I have like confident days. And chat, I think I was telling y'all this before. I think I was telling y'all this before, but I am. Um, I'm learning to feel confident with like less makeup on. And it was very difficult at first, but I'm getting really, really good at it. And now, when I see myself like this, I feel like unstoppable. I feel so good. It's so it's so rare. It's such a weird feeling. It's a really weird feeling to look at myself when I'm not like dolled up and like it. on her way to becoming a furry mm -hmm. i am becoming a furry i can't help it if i look cute with cat ears i never thought i'd be a cat e-girl but now here i am <laughs> i never thought that this would happen oh. not dolled up but still feeling herself yeah and that's just rare i don't always feel like this so this is really nice your eyes are so bright with the makeup thank you can you send me a pic to make in my wallpaper? Yo, just take any of them off of my Instagram. When you're an actual Mikote, true. But if Mikote has a pipeline to furry windows, what does that mean for me, a Hrothgar? Kelsey, I don't know how to tell you this. I don't know how to tell you this, but you've surpassed me. <laughs> Cosplaying your in-game character when? Look, is there like an iconic warrior of light cost, or not cost you, but like outfit that I could make? I do have my Ishtola cosplay to finish up. But, um, I would love to cosplay Pepper. I would really love to. I guess, like, once I, once I pick an outfit, 
to like keep. I mean, I guess like this fit. Not this one. Shit. Wait, wait. Wait. Oh shit, that's fuck, it's the MSQ! Fuck! Damn it! Well, the you know the white outfit she wears? I could do that. A personal summons from the science. This must be important business indeed. Though, if it concerns anything so underhand as an assassination, I fear I can be of little help. Yeah, I could do the standard Mikote gear. <laughs> you have made your point. It is indeed unsettling to find oneself seated across from an impassive mask. Yes. There. Would this better please your grace? Or should I address hot? you as Lady Lillera? Hmm? Is he hot? Nay, the deception has served its purpose. I am glad to see you found amusement in my little jest, Lord Lollorito. But shall we proceed to the business at hand? By all means. I must say, I am most eager to hear your proposal. Simply put, I would aid the refugees camped in Thanalan in their efforts to return to Alamigo. The reparations you paid in the wake of your earlier misdemeanors will be used to fund the endeavor, together with the fortune seized from the late Teleji Adeleji's estate. That fuck, Teleji Adeleji. But this plan is not intended to benefit the displaced alone. I would make of this an investment which shall enrich Uldar and Alamigo both. Hoggies? And who better to consult on matters of profit than the wealthiest man in all of Thanalan? I beseech you then, Lord Lollorito, share with us your mercantile wisdom. Ah, <laughs> twould seem your grace has matured beyond acts of earnest yet misplaced charity. Pray tell me more. Okay, so maybe he's not hot. Maybe I'm just down To bad. summarize, in return for facilitating the repatriation of refugees yes, and assisting too. in the establishment of new industry in Alamigo, you ask that a proportion of all subsequent profits be promised to Uldar. Ha! Huh, I am impressed, Your Grace. Tis an elegant solution. Albeit one lacking certain crucial details, specifically which industry I just and where. Hair piece. I love it. How swiftly you identify the weakness in my plan, just as I knew you would. It does look like she has a comb over, though. I Your travels have taken you across the length and breadth of Gear Abania, and you know the land far better than I. Which oh, of the no. settlements you visited would best provide a home for our refugees? Which has the greatest potential to flourish, given the appropriate investment? Are you gonna make me choose something? Oh, uh, I... Uh, uh, I don't remember any of those places. Um... Alagiri was the first place we went to. And I did have a soft spot for them. Alagana, I don't remember. The Saltery, I don't remember. <laughs> the Saltery? We getting salty up in here? Is that the vibe? I forgot Alakazam. Is there a right answer? I don't remember the Saltery at all. What was the Saltery? 
The ideal MMO economy. Because <laughs> it was blue. Diving through that big lake. Oh, fuck that shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll just pick Alagiri. Let's see what happens there. Yes, if a stable trade route can be established between Uldar and Alamigo, then Alagiri would once more become an important waypoint. But while such growth would greatly benefit its current residents, I'm afraid it could sustain little beyond that. I take that as a no. All right, so chat is telling me the sultry, so I guess that is the option. Ah, yes, that desolate little village on the shore of Loch Sel. Oh, yeah! I know the Saltry and its products well. The Imperial invasion brought an end to their more widespread distribution. Much to the dismay of many a wealthy gourmand, myself included. Salt has ever been a transformative ingredient. And in this instance, I dare say, it could transform a modicum of effort into a mountain of gill. Yeah, he said come. Yeah. The local citizens will need to be consulted, of course. But I trust the East Aldenar Trading Company can be relied upon to provide its assistance in negotiating a mutually beneficial negotiating. arrangement. Negotiating. We need to negotiate. The fuck says negotiate? Naturally, Your Grace. I shall dispatch representatives well versed in the extraction of this white gold and wring Bridgerton. every last ounce of profit from its production. The Loch's bounty will contribute to Alamigo's enrichment, whilst easing the burden on the bull's aching shoulders, just as Your Grace desired. A deal is struck then. Love this for them. That surprisingly went really well. I expected some fists to be thrown. I fear it will be many years before I feel comfortable taking part in such negotiation. Sorry, but I shall not complain. We have piqued Lorita's interest and secured his invaluable expertise. Thank you, Pepper. I could not have done it without you. Stop rubbing on my nipple. Hello, y'all. Hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving been a while. Thanksgiving fucking sucks. But thank you, Cheesy, for the 20 month reason. I appreciate it. This has caused me to imagine the most cursed term, donosexual. Ooh, woo, chat. Did you know that I am donosexual? I'm really attracted to people who give me donos. <laughs> so yeah, I hate it. I hated that. I hated everything about that. That was awful. I'm not doing that again. <gasps> Chat, wait, hold on. That reminds me. I just, well actually that didn't remind me of anything. I looked at my Gengar over there. Guess what I ordered? So, you know, some of you may know that um, Pokemon was really lab with um, Squishmallow. Well, the second the email found its way into my mailbox, I grabbed some. Look at him! Look at my big Gengar! <laughs> it literally, it literally arrived today. It came so fast. It's just a big stinker. I know, Pokemon is like popping off with their collaboration. But yeah, this guy is so cute. The fast comer came real quick. I love him. Drop him up. Where should I put him? Oh, 
Can I see Hassan Ayo? Can we get some Cyrus Christ in the chat? Melon, by the way, thank you for the 69 biddies. Oh, woo. Thank you, thank you. Sama's ready to move ahead with her plan. Course of our course is decided. I shall turn to the palace and have my ministers begin work on implementing the particulars of the plan. If I could prevail upon you one more time, Pepper, I would ask that you convey the details of our negotiations our negotiations to Commander Hext on your return to El Amigo. My thanks again. Together, we have laid the groundwork for an endeavor which promises to benefit the people of El Amigo and Oldabo. <laughs> Alright, Lee, some coming for you, babes. So we want to risk everything to be with this man. Sarnax, I'm not answering that question. I would like to feel a muscle. It is true. And there is nothing wrong with that. Okay. Oh, sorry, one second, chat. I'm trying to open Uber Eats just to like have my food ready. Okay. Jumbo is where my warrior of light fell in love with Lise. That makes one of us. Stormblood is where mine decided that she didn't actually like Lise. She's warming up. I'm warming up to her though. Just a little bit. Pepper, you're back. What did Anamo. Oh, sorry. Are you allowed to talk about your audience with the Sultana? No, I didn't find an NDA girl. So, Rabon says he's going to return to Old Up, but she isn't sure he wants to. <laughs> tell us something we don't know, or tell us something we don't know. And the police here, she's committed to helping our refugees come home. And this plan to revitalize the Sultry does make a lot of sense. Why how you convince her to seek Lorito's help is another question. After all that has happened, he's the very last person I would expect her to turn to for advice. But on a more pr uh, practical note, please, assuming the interim government elects you to accept Uldah's proposal, I have one caveat I should like you to include in the bargain. El Amigo must be permitted to cover a portion of the investment. We have a fortune at our disposal, after all, and allowing Lildad to provide the entirety of the capital will afford Lularito too much control. Honestly, Alfino, it's like Kugane never happened. What exactly does a ruthless profit profiteer have to do to earn your trust? But yes, you do make a good point. First things first, though, we need to discuss this proposal with the Sultry's resident. Whisker. Whisker? I forgot what his name. How do you fancy explaining the Sultana's plan to your grandfather? I'd like to hear what Watt, what I would like to hear what Watt thinks of the idea before, before Oh my god, thinks of the idea Ah I'd like to hear what Watt thinks of the idea before agreeing to anything. Right away, Commander. Would you mind coming along, Pepper? I might need you to fill in the details. And I shall come as well. Should Watt wish to discuss figures, my knowledge my knowledge of the nation's finances may prove easy. Righty. And there we go. On the way. <gasps> and my husband. That's my husband. I mean, we haven't we haven't officially gotten married yet, but oh. I'm too small. I'm too small to, to I'm too small to bow. I'm too small to bow. <laughs> Cause instead it just looks like I'm um, you know, he'll come back here. Why are you running away from me? Hold on. Let me see that. Let me see it. Take a peek. Nice. Well, I've not done much so far, but I'm having fun. Yay! Drew, I'm so happy to hear that. Good. Good. I'm very glad. I'll be able to play with you eventually. Don't you worry. And I'm excited for that day. Real thought, though, is why does that blanket look so damn soft? It is. This blanket is really fucking comfy. I love it. <gasps> oh, hi, husband. Hello. Are you, are you coming with me? Did you, did you want to accompany me? Was that the? Pl are you my Uber? Oh. I. Guess not. 
I guess not. Not the fingerless gloves? Girl, look, I got carpal tunnel, okay? I need these compression gloves. I know, Pepperfawn said bye bye He said, you thought I was here for you? Nah. Nah. Such wow, much nice 40 months. What? Thank you for the 40 month resub, I appreciate it. Oh shit, I was supposed to make a catfishing joke when you ran past me? Because you were a cat wearing a catfish head? What mounts? Robot? Oh, the ice wolfie? Isn't that Fenrir? What is it great, by the way? Three episodes watch tonight? You'll enjoy it? Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Very excited. I've been looking forward to that show, so. Are we doing the same quest? Is he on the same quest as me? What manner of mischief brings you youngins to old Watt this time, eh? They want to rebuild the salt regram that Pepper. Tell them about the deal. <laughs> well, bugger me. We've never had the coin or the hands to put the place back to how it was. But it sounds like that's about to change. There's one small wrinkle in your plan. It doesn't account for all the nasties queuing up to eat anyone who goes near the shore. The king used to send soldiers to call the, bug to call the buggers. But the Imperials weren't about to help the likes of us. Don't worry, Granddad. We'll take care of all that. Commander Hex has, be has been talking about starting up regular patrols, and I'm sure she'd assign me to the lock if I asked. I'd appreciate that whisker, my lad. Truly, I would. So, does this mean you've gotten better with that blade of yours? I've been shining, I, but mostly to kill Imperials. You've some experience hunting monsters, don't you, Pepper? Think you could cast an eye over a few of the local beasties and, tell and teach me how to deal with them? I guess so. Let's not waste any time then. I'll see you by the lock. Those who are busy tending to the local fauna, I shall have Master Watt explain to me exactly what is required to restore the salt tree to its former glory. Hunting! Alrighty, let's go fuck up some beasts. Oh, I think we literally are doing the same quest. Are we literally doing the same quest? That's amazing. I love this. Oh my god, we're in sync. <laughs> I love the voice you gave Pepper. The I remember the guy's name. What was it? Like the hot pocket fucker dude? What was his name? What was it by? Jordan? Jordan. Was it Jordan? That seems right. Alright then, Pepper. I got a spyglass here you can use to take a closer look at these pests. Once you've got their measure, you can tell me what to do. And we'll see how well I get on. Switch signs for yabbies. They may... You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target a yabby and inspect it with R2 and X. Is, is it you? Up. Up. Cover the weak point. Okay. Oh, is it the, is it the head? I feel like I just brought something up. Jaw, the jaw. That's how it looks. The Abby's entire body is protected by a hard uh, carapace. But the underside of the head looks soft and vulnerable. Just like me. Ah, looks like you found a yabby. They're hitting their shells like smacking a rock. Any suggestions? Aim for the soft underside of the head. Vulnerable under the head, are they? Right then. Wish me luck. You know what else is vulnerable under the head? I know you know. Get his ass. Ooh, ooh, get him, get him, get him. A brain? Yeah, that's another term that they call him. Hi, 
Thanks, Pepper. I did just as you told me, and the wavekin went down like a sack of po popotos. Like a sack of popotos. Not potatoes. Popotos. Let's find something else. The McChicken guy is a true weekend in ways I'd rather not get into in chat. The McChicken guy? Wait, who's the McChicken guy? my love I am here hello original owl how you doing pepper fart gonna beat me my own husband he fucked up my chicken and put the video online why are people like this I think I can handle the yabbies now so we should try something different what else is out there let's see what else is here you where is your weakness eyes Have y'all ever fucked a food before? Have y'all ever fucked a turkey? This Thanksgiving. The Fobad's hands are large and powerful, but destroying his crystallized core should render the salt golem inanimate. Sense power pulsing from behind its. Oh, a Fobad. How do I defeat one of those? Throw the core within its brow. Inside its head, is it? I'll try to stab it right between the eyes then. Grapefruit, if you know, you know. True. You know, I feel like it's a myth that sushi beholders have fucked the cucumbers before. There's a part of me that thinks that we all thought about it, but never did it, you know? Hi, Master Jericho, how are you? It's not easy fighting with the liberator of El Amigo watching her every move, but I got the job done. Thanks for the advice, Pepper. I feel a lot better prepared for my patrols now. Who the fuck was that? Hey, Road, we should head back to the Sultry before Grand does so, so worry I've been snipped but to a Yabby's hatch now. What's your IG? Can someone bump my socials in chat? My IG is just Syrah Scoops like my Twitter. One day I'll get the username Syrah. I don't know when that day will come. But it will. I promise. I don't know why it says like there's like an like a quest marker above their head. I'm assuming I have a quest for them somewhere. I don't know what the quest is. But I already finished like my 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 dragoon thing. Um, the hunting walks? Sarah, she is Syra Poops? I am Syra Poops. Yes. You caught me. Miss Syra Poops. <laughs> so you returned in one piece? Dealt with those beasts then, did you? I fought them myself and forbid of instruction for Pepper here, like. Once I've shared what I've learned with the others, we should have no trouble keeping the shoreline clear. Good lad. Fine young man you become, wasn't it? Fine young man indeed. Too often of late I hear tales of folks over in the city, drunk on victory and hungry for revenge, their heads stuck firmly in the past. But we need to set our sights on the future. 
things will originally are bought. Things like getting the Sultry ready to welcome our long lost countrymen. Alright, Alfie now. Hello, snowman. <laughs> Got a fine man in real life? No. I am so single. <laughs> That doesn't mean you It seems Whisker has the sultry security well in hand. I, meanwhile, have discussed the next steps with Master Watt and completed my inspection of the site. With a little work, the vacant buildings here can be made into very presentable dwellings. Can they? It's all kind of is rubbly. This is from General Alden. What interruption, miss? The general would speak with you at earliest convenience. Oh, come. I do not feel obliged to wait around on my account. I'll remain here to hammer out the finer details of Watt and act as an inter intermediary with our business partners in Ulda. You should go. General Alden asks that you wait for him by the main gate in the Alan My apologies again, miss. Fare you well. Hi, hey, man. Interesting, to say the least. A blissful arrival? I'm scared. Do you think he's gonna go back to Ulda? Or is he gonna stay in El Amigo? I feel like it's right for him to stay in El Amigo. But there's a part of me that really, really wants him to stay with Nanamo. Nanamo. Whatever. <laughs> Let's see here. There's a gate right over here then. Yep, where my husband is. My husband can't see me. Oh shit. I was gonna say my husband can't see me, but I'm gonna give him a kiss. I'll do it anyways. Okay, I get a quick kiss. Bye! Oh, I get hip hats! Can you give me hip pats? <gasps> Thank you! <laughs> Who needs a partner when I have pepper fall? Let's be real. Damn, I was waiting a long time for this. Hey, <laughs> Pippin. Apologies for the wait. People are screaming for the butcher's blood again. No sooner have we broken up one mob than another forms. Thankfully, all have been amenable to reason, thus far. But it is no concern of yours. We must speak of the men Arenvald and his comrades apprehended in the peaks. By their uniforms, the captives were first judged to be Imperial troops. But after further investigation, their true identities came to light. Go on. I dare say you remember Yuyu Hasi and Laurentius, the fugitives who conspired with Captain Ilbert in the Crystal Brave's betrayal. Oh my god, yes! Ah, well, it would seem they followed him <gasps> all the way to the wall. It was they who orchestrated the slaughter of the resistance fighters prior to the Griffin's infernal ritual. Were it in your hands, how would you punish these men? Um, question. Their lives be forfeit, execute. Pepper's not about that life. I am, though. You would spare these animals? Yours is a more merciful brand of justice than mine. I would lock them up until they die. In any event, I thank you for your honesty. When the time comes for the Alliance to pass judgment, I'll see that your opinion is heard. Well, that concludes our business here. But there is more I would say. Walk with oh. me. Is this about to get... Oh, that's probably my... Is this about to get emotional? Am I gonna cry? I don't like crying. I do it a lot. I bear a share of the blame for Ilbert's atrocities. Had I openly supported the cause of Alamegan liberation, he might not have felt driven to do what he did. Things could have been different, and I'm sorry they aren't. Oh, stop it. Wait. But even oh, after all that has happened, my homeland is free. With the Scions and the Alliance at their side, my countrymen have reclaimed what many thought lost forever. 
Under her new leadership, I have every confidence that Alamigo will emerge from the shadow of the Empire and rise once more to greatness. Which means my work here is done. Soon I will return to Uldar and take my place at the Sultana's side. But do you want to? Father. <sighs> I'll not deny there's a part of me that wants to stay. The same part that contemplated renouncing my rank and joining you as a wandering sellsword. What? But I pledged my blade to Nanamo, and I will not betray that oath. Is this truly what you want, Father? It is. Ever has my sword been hers to command, and ever shall it remain. I love him. I love him. Thank you for lending an ear. When all the rest are clamoring for me to stay, I trust you'll send me on my way. The cutscene is over. Roban is such a good character because he's consistently standing up for what he can, strongly, powerfully, respectfully, and he is noble as fuck. Like, incredibly. And I, I love it. Characters like him, and yes, like Orchifon, have such a soft spot in my heart that I get scared for them. Because it's, you know, like, it's always that good character, that sweet cinnamon roll that gets destroyed. Something really bad happens to them. You know? Tarnex. Can we get a, can we get a copy and paste in the chat? Real quick. Okay, I'm gonna have, what do I have first chat? I have... Aspect. Yo, they gave me a large thing of mashed potatoes. God damn. Do I even have a spoon? I do. This is my fault. I'm sorry. What did you do? What did you do? My Popeyes is close. No! Look, I'll eat my Popeyes in your armor. In your honor, okay? This is all for you. All of this is for dissatisfied. I sent Sarnix the mother of all copy pasta. Wait, okay, so what does it say? If you get 10 something something, then you can look forward to a black cock day never had before, and it's time to show Santa where the bad bitch is at. Never heard of that. What the fuck is this? What is this? Oh, I'm getting circled. Is that a cop? Look, I know I'm a minority. Wait, is that Genesis? It is. <laughs> that took longer than I intended, but at least you know where I stand. Now that's settled. Ironbold, what news? You may have a problem. Oh, fuck. A group of Ananta have arrived. Oh, at the main gates, and I don't mean the Vera. These are Kaliana. That's how you pronounce it, right? The Kaliana? 
The ones that summon the primal. Fuck. They're insisting they be allowed to attend the council. Lisa's trying to reason with them, but she may need help. Hmm. An invitation was sent to all the natives. You assume the Kaliana would refuse out of hand. We had best go see it. Go and see for ourselves. Pippin, take command of our forces. Be ready for battle. Be ready for battle? Pepper, you dealt with this Kaliana before. I'd have you at my side. Of course. Whatever you want, Daddy. I can't say no to Daddy like that. Okay, where the fuck do I go? All the way over there? Girl. You know what I should have done today instead of my fucking dailies? The uh the ether uh the ether current quest. Bro. I'm streaming and my mod is telling me to check my DMs so I can see a horny Thanksgiving copy pasta. Audacity. Oh my god. I'm sending this to Jen. Oh wait! My friend just sent me that too! <laughs> I hate it here. What if I just sent all my friends that in an email? Oh, need a ride while I eat my nuggies? Oh my god! Kelsey, hello. Um, Genesis, thank you. I'll be okay. I think, um, taking the long, like the long way, without flying and stuff while I eat my, my foodie is the right thing here. Thank you, though. I was gonna do my flying on lap as we hit MSQ hard. Sucks to suck, babes. Oh, you gave me head pats, too? Ah, <sighs> man. This game- oh, I got- this game is so pretty. I know the graphics aren't like... Well, no, you know what? I was gonna say I know the graphics aren't the best, but they are pretty fucking good. For an MMO? You know? That came out in what? 1941? <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? Where are you? Is that you? Are you coming? Is my Uber on his way? Is my Uber flying? Where? Uber? Just add me to your party for no reason? Guy. What a guy! What a guy. Then, always leaving us hanging. Yeah, it is really fun to think about the fact that the quality of the game literally goes up narratively and visually as the X-Packs go on. We're getting a graphic update? Oh, I'm ready. I'm scared, but I'm ready. Ah, my Uber. I know I turned down Gil uh, Genesis, but I can't say no to my favorite personal uber <laughs> all right uh you're taking me somewhere right over here some i don't know uh 28 22 your office took a sir this is the world's slowest this is sir giving you time to eat well all righty i guess you know, I did- I did say I wanted it to go by slowly. Oh my god. This must be so bumpy. You know what? Full immersion. Oh, that's not what I- You know what? Fuck it. Let's go first person. Let's scare him this shit. I was hoping I'd see Sarnix's big ass head. But I guess not. <laughs> hey, Hexagon. I thought the graphics improved, um... 
during Heaven's Ward. Isn't that when they drop PS3 support? I thought that's when that happened. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Mm. So what is the longevity of this game like? Is there going to be more stuff after Endwalker? Because I was told that Endwalker was kind of like the end of all ends, you know? But this being an online game, I can't see them doing that. Mmm! Of the current story. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Nice! Wow! Oh, I love that. Oh, okay. Awesome. I really like that. I like knowing that the game that I'm enjoying is just like, there's just gonna continuously be more content. I do love that. I'm gonna go grab my lipstick and then we will end quest and all that stuff. For I started with A Realm Reborn to Endwalker, time to find a new story to tell. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm excited. How confident are we all in um, Square Enix and the narrative for um, Final Fantasy XIV. Are y'all excited? Let me know and I'll read what y'all have to say when I come back. Please, no spoilers. I haven't, uh, mods, if you're here, please check the chat. I have not, obviously, I, <laughs> I'm really still early into the game, in the middle of the game, so no spoilies. Just for funny cutscenes. Honestly, my ult is a Lala, so I'm excited to go through the MSC. Everfall? Bro, your eyes good? Hmm. My music really loud. But am I okay? I have the utmost faith. You know what? Okay, I'm seeing that a lot here. Everyone seems to trust them. And that's rare. It's really rare um, for me to see that. I feel like most fan bases, even if they're not like completely confident. No, even if they're not, oh God, how do I describe it? Most fan bases are always a little, like, a little nervous. There's always that little bit of uncertainty. There's a god. <laughs> That's because there's a god in charge of Final Fantasy XIV. You know what? You may be right. If there's a god, then why did my husband die? Hmm? Riddle me that. Take that, Christians. He's right there? Oh, you're right, my bad. Wait, where is he? Fucking put- Sir, can you stop squatting? I'm trying to- thank you. Favorite character death gives you character- No, you're so right. Like, I've told- Chat, I've told y'all- You're blocking my man? This fucking guy! Oh. Wow, thank you. <laughs> I've told y'all, um, like, my head cannon for Pepper, right? Because of, um, because of Orshvon's... I am staring. I am... I am looking. Um, just wait until you meet Redacted. Girl, stop it. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh? Oh, I'm getting a show. Stop staring at my wide? Your wide what? Your wide caca? Their team has always had back and forth, which gives them good creativity. Game teams have always tried new things. 
play Final Fantasy VIII, 13, 12, and 15 have all had different gameplay setups. So they're like very experimental, but like in a good way. And they seem receptive of, um, they seem receptive of, um, like the fans feedback. But Square Enix as a company cannot be trusted. Okay, fair. That that's fair. That's completely valid. Yeah, my headcanon for Pep was that she was a summoner. Um and then or she found past. Past. And then she took up uh the Dark Knight class out of like like to avenge him kind of like she put all her misery into that which makes sense with the dark knight quest line um and also with just me because i did not like playing summoner anymore and i wanted to be a tank but that also being said um the dark knight quest line fucked me up it, I went through it during a time where therapy was really rough for me and like my life was also pretty bad. I like, I was a mess. I was a crying mess. It was so, so good. I'm getting spoiled right now, eh? You see how they're pushing NFTs? I actually did not know that, so. Also, what a fucking title. Creative Business Unit 3. Very creative. Okay. Mm, that biscuit. Mmm. Fuck my pussy up. Okay, ready? Wait, is it you? Wait, Genesis! Genesis! Okay. See what we've got here, right? This is voiced. Oh, never mind. Pepper Raban, God, it's good to see you. Sold this then? Ah, the Slayer has. We have not forgotten how you sinned against the Lady of Bliss. We did not come here to shed blood. Oh? Claim to seek harmony with all. Call Girabanya home. If this is truly your wish, you'll welcome us as on. Oh? It is our wish, but you and you are welcome. You cannot condone the summoning of primals. It is very dangerous and it is very risky. If you want to enter the palace, I must ask that you first surrender any question. You have my word that it will be all returned to you. It's over. Valid. Better safe than sorry. Hopefully they can accept that. We will do as you ask. I'll have our way. We're not so foolish. It's entirely at the That's valid. You're valid for that. But also, I don't know. They, we do have our army ready, so that's okay. Pippin has them ready. I think that's the closest we're going to get to a compromise. Yep. And we will have people sending guard. Exactly. Too bad of idea. I let them keep their swords. Yep. Have an agreement. Lead the way to your meeting chamber. Uh, something. Oh, is my mic actually cutting out? Okay. I turned it up. Maybe this will be better. All right. Let's see. Let's see if this does something. Why do I have the feeling we've welcomed to vote? Oh, well. All right. Maybe this will be a little bit better. Chat, I'm gonna talk a little bit low. Can you hear me? Am I more clear? Am I a little bit louder? Are things better? Okay. Bet. Bet, bet, bet. Oh, that's a big cock. Is that the black cock from the coffee pasta? <laughs> I 
I had a feeling. <laughs> Okay. Oi! Oh, I thought someone was like farting. Okay. Oh, wait! I got an item, no? I'm pretty sure these weapons I can find on the market board. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know what that was, though. Is it this? Was this what I just got? I don't know. Oh, it must have been because I'm playing as Dragoon. Good, and it's not that great. I guess? If I put Materia on it, it could be better, I bet. Raban seems unconvinced by the Kalyana sincerity. Check DMs again? No. Does Kalyana's elders' intentions seem at odds with all we know of her tribe? What think you, Pepper? Enthrall cannot be trusted. Mayhap even Enthrall can learn to compromise. You believe an understanding can be reached? It is not entirely unheard of, I suppose. Those who followed Saint Shiva eventually sought recon reconciliation with Ishgard. True. <laughs> Ishgard. Whatever the truth, I would take no chances. The garden must be strengthened. Ideally with people who know a thing or two about primals. Can we rely on the scions? Mm-hmm. I'll round up our comrades and send them to the Alamegan quarter. I'm going ahead if you like pepper. My thanks. I will see you in the palace. Is she on the graphics update? Alright, fine. You won me over. I feel like this is a lie. I feel like Sarnix is just sending me cock. <gasps> Shut the fuck up! No way! No way! This is what the game is gonna look like? No shot! No shot! Oh my god! Oh my god! Chat! Let me open this on, on here. I need to show y'all just the Mikote at the very least. Look at this! Look at that! Oh! Oh my god! I can't believe that. I'm so fucking pumped. What is the estimate, like... I guess, like, date for this? Does anybody know? Wow! Wowie zowie! Wowie zowgoozy. Alright, what's happening here? <gasps> Pizza! Oh, thank you. Mamma mia! Thank you for the sauce. I'll eat it right now. Okay, where am I going? Going back here? <gasps> Who gave me a kiss? Teddy, is that you? No. Wait. Oh, there you are! Oh, I'm so, I'm so stupid. Hello. <laughs> All right. I gotta go. Return of the bull? Why did I think that said ride the bull? <laughs> I was like, Dragon Age? Hello? <laughs> next summer or fall? So like next year, next year? Are you dead ass? Mmm, 2024, okay. That's not bad. <gasps> Before I die. All right, here we go. Hey, give me head pats. <gasps> Ishtola! Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> wow, I'm so glad my face is stuffed. Okay. Indeed, this apparent reversal in attitude is most curious. No one expected a re response to her invitation, much less an envoy. I imagine Lise was forced to make some rather hasty arrangements in order to accommodate them. Um, I wouldn't really say hasty. Great commentary, thank you. I am quite good at this. Speaking of which, how should we deploy ourselves? The meeting is to be held in the throne room. It would seem wise to have eyes both inside and outside the palace. Well, Thancred's a sneaky little bitch. What if we kept him outside? Ishola and I can send guard without. The, the, that leaves three of you to keep watch over proceedings in the throne room itself. Boom. I'm a genius. My mashed potatoes are just soup now. Understood. We should join General Olden inside then. Pepper, do you know the rear entrance to the palace? It's on the eastern edge of the city, at the top of the stairs. The guard there should have been instructed to let us pass. Alrighty. Are you saying that I have to walk there, or will this just be a cutscene? Like a fade to black moment. Yeah, potato soup kind of slaps. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am blessed, truly. Wow, 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 wow. I love my entourage of sexy naked people. It's quite nice. Nothing makes me feel more like the Warrior of Light than being followed by naked people. What if I just like... What if I made... What if I just did this in... What if I did all of this in a bikini? Where is it? What if I did the entire MSQ in this bikini? The armor is very practical, I'll have you know. You won't? I literally will not. That would make cosplay really easy? True. Very true. I'm going back into my white outfit. <gasps> Cute! Puppy. Two puppies. Big puppy. Yeah, puppy. The RP and you would be screaming. <laughs> I don't role play, but I head cannon, you know? Oh, I'm cramping real bad now. You're with the scions, miss. General Alden left orders that you were to be escorted inside. If you'll follow me. I'm following. I'm going. I have entered. Why does she always slow mo walk? What the fuck is that? I love him. Thank you all for coming. I am Lise Hext, and I speak for the Resistance. Among you are village elders, refugee leaders, envoys from the Ananta and the Kikern. You've come Kikern. from every corner of Girabania to help decide the future of Alamigo. But before that, I want to ask you a question. What was the first thing you noticed when you came in? That there was nobody here and I kept getting lost? For me, it was that empty throne. Oh, you meant like in here. I could hear here. It has no one to sit on it now. No viceroy, no king. 
I swear to God. If you like to take their place? I swear to God, this is so corny because it's gonna be her. She's gonna sit on top of there. Or should someone else sit there? Wait, what if it's Robon? Then let's sit here in a circle. As equals. Oh hell and yeah. I hope Democracy! I know they did not just give me that short ass cut. Okay, good. They really all sitting here cross legged, gaffing about. Expertly done. Lise has removed monarchy as a choice early in the game and positioned them to consider a joint government. All things considered, I would say events have got off to a fine start. Keyword start. Oh, my tummy's getting the rumblies. And that is Alagana's stance on the matter. Oh, oh, my, my tummy. Oh, I should not have had all Thank that. Thank you, Regan I'm gonna shit Another so bad. Sorry, let's continue the cutscene. Next, let's hear from Shanti of the Kaliana. Tell us, how do your people feel about the idea of a republic? The Ananta wish only that those who dwell within Gear Abania devote themselves to our faith. You shall all worship Sri Lakshmi. Bro, the saying it. Lady of Bliss, grace us once more with your beauteous visage. Not the whitewashed Indian goddess. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I just whooped your ass. This can't be happening. No crystals were allowed through the door. The one in her hat! We can worry about the how of it later. We need to evacuate these people right now, or the primal will make thralls of them all. It's up to us. We gotta fight her again? Oh shit. Yeah! Oh hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. She's stunned. Oh no. Look at me and my shield. Go! Go! God oh no. damn it! Oh no, the guards no. were already turned. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. No, you don't. The Kaliana would see us all enthralled. Then they're going to be sorely disappointed. We have the Warrior of Light and Arenvold to shield us. That's me. Aye, but they can't well defend your guests and attack the primal, can they? We're stuck on the back foot. Uh, all right, I think I have an idea. Keep these people safe, General. I'll be back as soon as I can. What does she... Okay. Okay, girl! Work, Lise! Let's go! Yeah, whatever she's about, she'd best make it quick. Oh, there's only four left. You guys got this. Come then. Who will be next to die on my steel? Daddy?
Oh, it's duty time. Um, do I do this as Dragoon? Yes, I'm by your side. Use the duty action to deflect us to dissipate the ether spheres. Like, should we release it in the battle? Be warned that allowing an ally to be enthralled by an ether sphere will result in failure. What? What? Oh, those things. Is it really just him and I? No shot, it's literally just him and I. Okay, well. Uh, uh, wait. How do I, how do I, what do I, what do I do to deflect these? Do I just, ah, 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 ah. Do I just, do I just, is that? Okay, well, anyways. So glad I know how to play this class. Oh, do I just, is that what they intend for me to do? Is that what they, ah, that is what they want me to do, okay. Why? I offer you peace and serenity. I wonder what Lisa's meant is trying to do. What's she trying to get? Is she getting Fordola? I what I wonder, could you imagine? Oh shit, my bad. I wonder if she is getting Ferdola. Wait, what? Oh no. I got this. Cause Ferdola has to make a comeback. Shit, my bad. Oh. Okay, I was too slow. See if we can do it this time. First try, right, chat? Oh my god! Okay, he's got that one, right? Why? I offer you peace and serenity. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I don't have to do anything here, right? I just have to dodge it. Oh, Ehrenwald is looking kind of low. Maybe I should not let him take some of these. There's another one? Ah! Ah! Oi! Oi! Ah! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No! 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 No, no, no! No, 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 no! Okay. Okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. Ah, uh ah, -uh, no Fs. No Fs. Come on. Let me have this. Let me have this. Let me have this. Pepper, please protect. Pepper is doing her best. Pepper is doing her best! Pepper is doing everything that she can! Am I even dealing any damage to her? I am, but it's like nothing. Why? I offer you peace. Pepper is doing all that she can, okay? She's just one sweet bean! It's just one baby. <gasps> no, 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 no,
No balls for you! Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, can I do a combo wombo? Oh, I get two. Oh! 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 Okay, I see you. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Okay. I got this. I got this. Mine. I shall free you from your hate. From my hate. Babes. What okay. hate? What the fuck? What? Oi! 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 No! 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 Damn it all! It's only a matter of time before we miss one. For Dola's gonna come in with her like super like crazy echo powers. She's gonna go va va boom, and then she's gonna die. fucking wrote this shit, I'm telling you. I wrote this story. This shit is so predictable. Oh. Oh, now I can actually fight her? Alright, let's go. Oh, I did not mean to use that. That's okay, though. Oh, girl, get out of my fucking AoE. My fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up! Wait, wait. Are you gonna, are you gonna stack? Are y'all gonna stack with me? <laughs> oh my god, they stacked with me, uh. Oi? 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 Oh? Oi? What are you doing? Oh god, damn. Oh god damn! Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. And now what? Oh. Wait, what's that? What? What are they doing? What is Lise doing? What? Am I missing something? They need us? Oh, you intend to kill her? Damn! Yeah, okay. So Alfie's going? Something is not- something is not gonna go right. I can smell it. I can smell it. Oh, that's not a safe spot. After Lisa Mabon. Oh, after to oh no. Eh, free me! Free me! Do I gotta spam? Free me! Wait, the balls. Wait, the balls! Wait, I've been freed! No, the balls! Wait, I'm coming! I'm co ah! ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! The balls! The balls! The balls! 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 I'm coming! I'm coming for the balls! I'm coming for the balls! I'm coming for your balls! I'm coming for your balls! I am coming! Your balls are no more! Your balls are no more! No more. No more balls. No balls. No balls for you. No balls for me. Nice. 
We got the balls. Hello? Thank you. Do not your souls weigh heavy? Uh, oh, there's a force field. Oh my god, wait, no, I'm coming. No, wait, no, I should not have run back. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'm a god. I'm the warrior of light. I'm chill. We're all good. We're good. We're good. I guess technically I would have been safe in her square. Oh wait, Babon? Move, bitch. Oh, she's out of my AoE. My line of sight, I guess. Okay. My range, that's a, that's a term. Hello. What? What was that? Oh yeah, I have that like that gauge thing now. I forgot about that. But how do how do I charge it though? Is it by using certain abilities? Okay, now the eye is open. to my misery. What misery? It's called trauma, babes! Oh, shit. I'm bad. Not bad, girl. Oh, no! Ah, I pressed the wrong one! Ah, I pressed the wrong one! Oh, <gasps> I'm working on it. I'm working on- Oh, it's still on a cooldown. I'm bad. So what happens if her ether? Girl, I am I am trying my darn best here. She's telling me to hurry up. I can't! Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm so scared. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ayo? Wait, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh. Oh. We did it. I hope. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Once and for all. She went pop! <sighs> we, we did it! We beat her! Thank you for Dola. What am I gonna see? More trauma? Mmm. This is Lise coming in on her probably, right? <laughs> Shit. Girl, they could not have held them off for so- You have what to- this? You gotta hurry. You tell me this was a slow-ass convo? I'm only gonna say this once. Okay. 
Okay, okay. The Ananta just summoned their primal in the throne room. My friends are fighting her, but they need help. They need someone with the echo, and by the gods, I wish I had it, but I don't. I told you before her? that you still had time, but things have changed. I need your answer now. You can end it like Xenos, or you can fight for Alamigo. Your choice. Yes! <laughs> That's my Ferdula. My Ferdula peep. I mean, she's a bitch, but... <laughs> yeah, she's getting that redemption arc, huh? Something. Oh. Seven hells. It's her. The butcher. Yeah, and she just saved y'all's asses. Fun little PMA. Oh shit. What is she seeing? It is interesting that they let us see this. Oh. Oh. It's done. Take me back to my cell. You are not forgiven. Not you. You I will never forgive. That's a burden that she has to bear now, huh? But I will thank you. for standing against a primal and saving us from servitude. You have my thanks. Are you gonna cry? I was gonna say she's gonna shed one tear, one tear. <sighs> well, now I'm a little emotional. Oh, Reba, and thank you so much for gifting Guru a sub. Guru, what's up? Welcome. Do you play Final Fantasy XIV? What you doing here? What you doing here? She's a badass, man. You fought well, Pepper. Aaron Vault. That was a near thing. I, our stand against the uh, Kaliana would have been brief indeed. You not volunteered for guard duty. We'd be enthralled as surely as our sentries were. They must have planned this far in advance. Security was my responsibility, and I know how dangerous primals can be. I should have... God, it's my fault. My stupid mistake. Nay, alas, we were all caught unawares. We will take this as a lesson and watch our own more carefully in future. Yeah. You can be sure that the lackeys who smuggled the crystals into the throne room were the only thralls in our ranks. The soldier who, spoke, who first spoke up in favor of the Kalyana keeping their weapons springs to mind. A primal servant is betrayed by Azora. If you mean to conduct an investigation, I can identify any others acting under Sri Lakshmi's influence. Thanks, Ishtola. We'd appreciate the help. Speaking of help, I almost fell over when Fordola turned up. <laughs> what was she even doing there? I asked her to come. Ah. <sighs> Rough. Well, that explains it then. It's sad, but Ragenford was right. Her victims will never forgive her for what she's done. 
But I don't think Ferdola picked up that sword looking for forgiveness. She just, she wanted to fight for her country. If you say the word in which Ferdola grew up is partly to blame for what she became, then as an Alamegan, I feel responsible for improving that world. We cannot ignore what's happening right now. We have to show people a better way than vengeance. We risk giving birth to a new generation of skulls. I know it's idealistic, but I want to help people to let go of their old grievances and make peace with each other. And I'll hold a thousand meetings and talk till I'm blue in the face if that's what it takes. It is a long and arduous path you've chosen, but one well worth walking. Rest assured that I will do what I can to help you reach your destination. Thank you, Alfino. The first step will be to get our representatives back in the throne room. They're a little shaken, but not one of them seemed ready to run. We're all determined to finish what we started. I will see that you're not interrupted. Pepper, you and the Scions are to stand down. Get some rest. You've earned it. Yeah. I like my nappy time. <laughs> I like having my little nappies. Thank you. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> A fine spot to contemplate the heavens. The meeting is over. The envoys have chosen to instate a government modeled on Ishgard's House of Commons, a ruling body of representatives elected by the people. It is a fair decision, and one which signals the end of my part in all this. But I would gaze upon Girabania's stars one last time before I leave. I mean, it's the same stars you'll see in Ulda. And, and I'm just leaving him? That's it? Oh, who's, who's there? <gasps> Is she gonna make him stay? Her little... <laughs> Forget something. Your Grace, I... there was no word. Rabon Aldin, you are hereby dismissed as General of the Immortal Flames and relieved of your seat on the Syndicate. But... Your Grace... Rabon, I am no longer a child. Stay here in your homeland. Work with your brethren. Rebuild Alamigo. You desire to stand alone. I, I understand, but remember what happened. I remember full well the consequences of my naivety. And thus did I consult at length with the most trusted advisor ere I embarked upon this course. A most trusted advisor? And what of me? Am I no longer deserving of your confidence? <sighs> what trust can there be between us when you withhold the truth from me? Did you think me oblivious to the anguish in your eyes when you spoke of returning to Uldar? For years and years, we have trusted one another. Yet now you refuse to confess your heart's desire. I oh. swore an oath to you that day on the sands. I pledged my sword. And it has served me well. But in Pippin, you have forged a new sword, as sharp and deadly as the blade you bequeathed him. I will show you a Sultana who can wield every weapon at her disposal, including Lollorito and his monetarist cronies. Oh. 
So follow your heart, please. You are home. You are free. Oh. No, no, no. I... For me, Raubon. I would have this parting be a joyous one. <laughs> Thank you, Your Grace. It has been an honor to serve you and Ulda. Tomorrow you will serve Alamigo and fight for the good of all Eorzea. Okay. Am I understood? You see it? You see it? <sighs> yes, Your Grace. And I come back to an even more beautiful view. Yes, the view of Alamigo's uh, stars were gorgeous, but this? This? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh my god, and y'all are in sync! <laughs> oh. That was so. That was so wholesome. That was very sweet. What a nice way to, like, I guess, like, end, like, his plotline, I guess. Like, to rebuild his home. Aw, I'm- I don't really have the words for it, but, like, that was so- That was so beautiful. They've been doing this since you first went in. <laughs> Damn, they get in those games. Oh, we're in S- Uh, we're in patch 4.2? Oh, fuck yeah, baby. Also, Jay, don't think I didn't see you. Hi. Who am I talking to? Oh, eh. oh my god. Pepperphone waited for me to get through this. And <laughs> this guy. Thanks for shielding us from Lakshmi, you two. If you hadn't been there, the rest of us would be worshipping her by now. You're kind to include me, Lise. But we both know who did most of the work. I could scarce keep me. track of the battle, let alone land a telling blow. No shame in admitting it. The Warrior of Light has put far better men than me in the shade. It's true. I am the best. <clears throat> Did I mention that I encountered the Sultana in the palace? It would seem her grace has come to Girabania to oversee the final stages of her relocation project. She was in search of General Aldin, and I directed her to the rooftop garden. I do hope he was still there. He was. Are you in the habit of gossiping about the affairs <sighs> of royalty, Master Leveilleur? Caught. Certainly not, Your Grace. <laughs> I, I was merely informing my companions. Beauty's alpha note was only a jest. <laughs> I like Alfie's one liners. <laughs> but I must yield the floor to Raubon. He has an important announcement to make. He's pregnant. With Alamigo's baby. <clears throat> As of yesternight, I have been relieved of my post in the Immortal Flames and the Syndicate both. You know what that means? Oh. 
I shall be assuming my father's duties. And may I say that Tizona has never felt heavier upon my back. <laughs> It would seem I am in need of employment. Mayhap one of my old acquaintances can introduce me to a mercenary company of some such. He's so cute. You may be getting on in years, father, but you'd struggle to find a band of sellswords who wouldn't snap your hand off. Your remaining hand. <laughs> Sir. Yes, the Bull of Alamigo need not be put out to pasture just yet. <laughs> I love her. Your Grace has developed a wicked edge to her humor. And you, Pippin, would do well not to laugh when the future may hold the same for you. <laughs> so, does this mean you're staying? I. That seems to be the way of it. I would be glad to aid you in rebuilding our nation, if you'll have me. If, he says. Welcome home, Raoban. You give him a hug? Oh, handshake? Chest bump? Handshake. Imagine she gave him the wrong hand. Like, huh? oh, whoops, sorry, this one. <laughs> Damn, she must get a wicked well, tan on her back. Though you seem distinctly unsurprised. Well, I may have had a bit of a part in this. Either you are more astute than I give you credit for, or I'm losing my touch. Perhaps a little bit of both. In any event, one thing is certain. Alamigo will rejoice at the homecoming of her dearest son. And now... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think it's about time I headed back to Ralgar's Reach. What's next for all of you? Alize will be eager to hear of recent events, so I shall join you if you're no objections. I'd welcome the company. Pepper, why don't you come along to the Reach as well, once you've said your farewell to Nanamo and the others? Sounds good! Upon the completion of this quest, you'll be able to access the palace's rooftop gardens by speaking to the Royal Menagerie Attendant. Yay! Cool! I've asked enough of you, Pepper. My only words for you now are those of gratitude. I gotta speak to. Oh, I don't actually have to speak to any of them. I just have to go straight to Rolgar's Reach. Perfect. Oh, my bad. Where am I going? Oh, here. Yoink. Yoink. Yee! I did it! I did it! I did it! I've made progress! We're progressing! Through the story! All right, so there are like, what, four patches, five patches? So we just finished one, right? Okay, 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 I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Alrighty. So we have to go up to the tent that's like all the way up there, right? I could have taken the TP, right? Nah, whatever. Oh, yep, I, uh, I could have. Okay, that's fine though. It's nothing in the world. Pepper's got thighs for days. She's used to running around. She did it all throughout uh, Kurtha, so I mean. Not my husband there waiting for me already. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's see. I'm a quarter way done? Hell yeah. Well, here we are again. Alfino has regaled me with a thrilling tale of hidden tr treasure troves, mid-meeting trails, unlikely alliances, and joyous homecomings. It would seem I missed everything. I was patrolling the palace grounds with Ankrit and Yustolo when we heard the report of a primal in the throne room. I honestly doubted my own ears. As others have said, we were lucky to have our Echo Blessed champions nearby this time. We will need to keep a closer eye on the Kal uh, Kaliana. 
You can say that again. This whole episode has rem reminded me just how far apart our kinds still are. It looks like centuries of fear and mistrust really can't be washed away in a day. Really, girl? No shit. But someone has to make an effort at reconciliation if these conflicts are ever going to end. Naturally, a lot of people are crying out for vengeance, but I've, but I've been doing my best to calm things down. Violent reprisals are will only lead to more summonings. Indeed, violence will ever beget beget violence, as the Empire has learned to its cost in recent times. In any case, summoning Lakshmi with the, was the brood mother's doing, and whoever replaces her might not be so keen on the idea. We'll just have to watch and wait. Which isn't to say we won't be putting the safety of our allies in the Vera and M tribes first. I plan to have resistance scouts keep track of the Kalyana's movement at all times. My parents will be relieved to hear that. What are your plans for the rest of the resistance army out of interest? Are we to prepare for Imperial counterattacks? That would be a question for the resistance newest recruit, a military commander with far more experience than me. What? The Bull of Alamigo? We call it an army, but the resistance is really a collection of smaller, independent groups. And when Conrad passes command on to me, that authority only extends to the Freedom Fighters based in Rolgar's Reach. He just happened to be serving as a resistance spokesman at the time, and needed someone to take over the role while everything was in disarray. But that time has passed. When I speak with the other leaders about reforming the, the army under the new government, I'll be nominating Ro Robon as the overall commander of our forces. He has more experience than the rest of us put together, and we stand to learn a lot from him. Indeed. He is in all respects the ideal choice. Assuming he accepts the post, Alamigo will have added a formidable weapon to his arsenal. And given the progress of Nanamo's resettlement initiative, I see great cause for hope. The seeds which we so carefully sowed, sowed have begun to quicken my friends. And I like that. We tend to our promises and watch as Alamigo booms. Blooms? Booms. <laughs> Dress up Roban? The detachable arm optional? No shot. It's a minion. Detachable arm optional. Bro, you did not have to do that to him. They did not have to do him like that. <laughs> the optional Omega and Four Lords quest lines? I don't know what those are. I'll find them eventually. <laughs> Rosetsu, I do give thanks to the Kami that my makeshift raft withstood the fury of the seas. Our boy! But their generosity ended. Without coins in our pockets for new attire, we are doomed to look so much like Jetsam. Oh, woe betide the poor man in a city of rich merchants. Oh my god, I- uh, where is the Otsuyu? Is she with him? Is he talking to her? Is that her? Oh, she looks so- She looks so happy. These dango are delicious. D is it dango or dango? I never knew. Will you have one? Hmm? More sweetbreads? I surrender my blade to secure what few coins we have. More? Has she just been eating sweets this whole time? I don't know how to- Don- Is it no? Don go? Okay. Oh, she looks peachy. She looks happy even. Just like talking to a child. Oh. No, I don't forgive her. My face told me we just burn and I shall never know. But I'm alive. <laughs> I'm looking at my master's side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sue you. Sue you? You should find a ship to carry us across the Ruby Sea. Not Yatsuyu? Just sue you? She's got a pet name now? Why is she being so cute? 
What did I miss? Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. I really hope you have a voice cut scene. I want to nibble. Mm! Have you read the reports? First Doma, then El Amigo, and Lord Zeno's put to the sword. I do not believe everything you read. I heard the Viceroy was merely wounded, and that he had already returned to the capital. Naturally, the savage... The savages beat their trust and boast loudly to take up taking his head, regardless. Oh no! My nappy pins! Nay. Wait, what? The Lord Zenos lives? What? Okay. I called it because I was like, it's too good to be true. Deplorable that our own officers should be fooled by Eorzean misinformation. Small wonder the provinces have begun rising up in rebellion. We must prepare an official and above all accurate announcement to quell these uh, pernicious, pernicious, I don't know, rumors. I'm gonna fucking shit my pants. They would wage war with empty words. Let them produce the viceroy's remains then. We shall soon put the lie to their claims. Man, it like, look, like, you know, I'm telling you, this, this game is low. A fist? Was that the Asian who took off his, his mask? Who is that? I still don't know who that is. Because they took off his mask and then the old, uh, fucking Thranduil angry looking man was like, you. Pepper, great timing. I was just about to send a word to the Scions. I've got lots to tell you. The Council has officially recognized the Resistance as our standing army, and I expect you can guess who's been appointed commander. Suffice it to say, we're in good hand, girl. Having the Bull of El Amigo at the helm's done, at the helm's done wonders for morale. I got a burp. People were dancing in the streets when the announcement was made. Oh fuck! And we have you and the Sultan of like for it. Oh god! If you knew how to work your magic, it never again got to my mouth hard. Oi! It's me. Yeah, that was me. I knew it. Jay, I knew it was you. Yeah, can someone please burp me? The council has also decreed that we're to maintain a presence at Ralgar's Reach. Lise will continue to lead our forces in the fringes, a job she's been doing tirelessly. A bit too tirelessly, tirelessly, some might say. We're constantly having to remind her to rest before she falls over. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's an exaggeration, and I always get up again anyway. We can hardly afford to lower our guard now. Not after our latest brush with luxury. Listen, I, d I may need a bib, yes. Speaking of which, we've been keeping a close eye on the Kalyana, and it looks like they've chosen a new leader. It's, um, Shanti's daughter. What? You know, the half-dead one? For whatever reason, the Kalyan thought she was the best candidate, which makes them leaderless, basically. Um... I don't know if I should laugh or not. I want to, but I feel like that's mean. As things stand, there's no prospect of engaging in, talk engaging in talks, let alone coming to an understanding. But I won't let that stop me. I'll keep on reaching out to them until they finally see. Finally see sense. English. Very hard. Just like I've been reaching out to Fordola. She still won't meet my gaze, but she's given up on trying to ignore me. It may only be the odd, the odd grunts, but at least she's responding. I'll get through to her yet. I don't know, girl. It took you a very long time for you to get through to me. I think Fordola might just uh, call it quits. <laughs> Pepper, there you are. Me? You are looking for me? Alfino, Alize, is everything all right? We've received word from Tataru. Hancock has apparently acquired information of great er interest and urgency. 
More than that, she didn't say. Only that we should come to Ugane right away. Ah, I like the rhyme. I had a mind for the two of us to set forth together, but Ali's determined to make it a party of three. As I've told you more than a dozen times, brother, my wounds are quite healed and I would benefit from some fresh air. Besides, you may well need an extra pair of hands. Worry not, sister. I've quite given up on trying to convince you. <gasps> no! Whether we be two or three, we should depart as soon as possible. You'll be joining us, I trust. I don't really have a choice. If I want to progress the narrative, I kind of have to. Huh, I was about to say I'd come too, but I'll just have to settle for cheering you on from afar. Thank God. Good luck with whatever it turns out to be. Thank you, Lise. Rest assured, should this business prove to be of even tang tangential? I keep wanting to read genital. I don't know that word. Cause Oh, like tan like tangible? Like tang- Anyways. To El Migo, we shall inf- Well, let us be off then. Hancock and- Hancock! And Tataru await us at the Ruby Bazaar's offices. Put the thesaurus away. Tangential? Tangential. Like tangent, but shul. Hancock? I always thought that was messed up and it was hilarious. He said, Fordola, Fordola, but I thought he said, Fordola, fertilize me? Nah, I mean... Please tell me you got a screen cap of that. Ayo? <laughs> I cannot with all of you. I cannot. The council. The council. With Vosk in the middle on the throne. The council has been summoned. <laughs> All right, where am I going again? Kugane, right? All right, on my way. Shit, I'm missing the meeting. You are, Kelsey. You're missing the, the very important meeting. <laughs> All right. All right, let me fiddle around with that minion I got. I did not like that sentence. I meant let me um put it in my list of summonable. <gasps> Y'all, greetings, honored madame. May I show you in? Bye, Pepperfawn. Thank you for waiting for me. Can you continue to wait? I might be a bit. Yogiri! Do they know that Gosatsu's alive? No, right? My friends, thank you for coming at such short notice. I can't wait to see their reaction. We were told the matter was urgent. I take it Yugiri and Sorobin are also involved? Ah, my presence here is but a happy coincidence. I am come on separate business, which can wait. I am also come. I was come. We all were. My apologies. We all once were, but a Master fish Hancock, and pray, an egg. tell our friends exactly what you told me. A little spermy. Of course, of course. Some few days ago, a large detachment of soldiers was seen arriving at the Galilean embassy. This seemed to me most unusual, as no personages of note are due to visit for a matter of months. So, I made a few inquiries, whereupon I learned of a most curious rumor. Oh, is it about Xenos being alive? Apparently, the soldiers were dispatched to Kugane to investigate recent sightings of a certain individual. Or is it gonna be Gosatsu? Well, I would assume so because of who I'm with. The late acting Imperial Oh, Vosu yeah, Ingoma, Yotsu! Okay, yeah. Yotsu, you. Well, I knew it'd be somebody. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I, too, am loath to believe it. I saw the keep come down on top of her. We all did. I would not presume to question your eyewitness accounts, nor am I one to take rumors at face value. The fact is, the Garleans have no knowledge of what took place at Dorma Castle. 
They may well be chasing after a woman who merely resembles Yotsuyu. That's fair. But a Those woman who happen. resembles Yotsuyu in the company of a grizzled Rogan <laughs> samurai? I dare say that thickens the plot. Gosetsu! He's alive! While I've no conclusive proof, I thought that such a possibility warranted your attention. <laughs> Have you informed Lord Hien? Well, I think we'd all like to believe the old bear survived. Indeed. While I dare not give myself wholly to hope, I will not deny that I have prayed for such a miracle ever since that fateful day. But regardless of my personal feelings, if the Empire has seen fit to pursue these rumors so vigorously, we can scarce afford to ignore them. I am bound by duty to ascertain the truth of the matter. Will you join me in this quest? Amen. I don't got a choice. It's part of 4.2. I will find Gosetsu Gos together. I almost said Gotsuyu. I am not sure what I'd do if I saw Yotsuyu again. Yeah, no, we'll find Gosetsu. Thank you. If Gosetsu yet lives, he will need our help if he is to avoid capture. Gosetsu is a dear friend, and we cannot abandon him to the mercy of the Empire. Our course is clear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hancock, is there aught else you can tell us? Who names our Alas, kid Hancock? Not. But Han. I have taken the liberty of employing one of the finest informants money can buy. You shall have the latest intelligence on the Garlean's movements and more besides. I hate his smile so much. He reminds me of Jay. I've seen Jay make that smile one too many times. The informant awaits your pleasure. My pleasure in the back streets. My pleasure in the back streets? <laughs> of Sanjo Hanamachi. From its shining facade to its dark underbell. Okay. One of the finest informants money can buy. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Permit me to assist you in your quest, my friends. The sooner your business and the sooner we may speak of mine. Should your search take you away from Kugane, my boat is at her disposal. I shall see that she is ready to sail. I'll give Saraban a hand. If he's providing- I just bad everywhere. If he's providing us a ship, the least we can do is supply the provisions. We'll be at the pier if you need us. A welcome offer and an excellent plan. Without further ado, then, let us seek out this informant in Sanjo Hanamachi. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Oh, that's their ship name? Makes sense. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Hello! See? I guess the other one is closer. Yeah, this district. I met Hancock when I had the hair some pump decided I needed to change my hairstyle. Yeah, I didn't want to say it out loud, but I was thinking, hmm, do love that Charlemagne and Hancock have the exact same hairstyle, just different colors. And I'm glad that you decided to change your hair immediately after that. <laughs> now you look like an emo boy. This should be the place. Now we wait and see who comes. Stop saying who comes. It has been a while, my friends. Yes, yes. It's the catfish. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Oh, I knew it too. I love those little fuckers. Gyodo, any funny business and you know what will happen, I trust? No, no, no funny business. Oh, what was the voice I had for them? Hmm. No, no, no funny business. But like it was like a little deeper. Only loyal service and the finest quality information. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Such quality does not come cheap. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, 
But then Hancock already paid you. Honestly, you must think we were born yesterday. I have half a mind to call Lise. No, no! No, Lise, I beg you! No boots! I will tell you everything I know, free of charge! <laughs> he sounds like Toad. Oh, you want Toad? But do you want Toad? Yeah! The Empire searches for Yatsuyu! High and low, far and wide! Come to enlist my help, they did! Promising rich rewards for decisive information! Aha! And have you decisive information? Were the two individuals slated here indeed Gosatsu and Yotsuyu? Alas! See them with my own eyes, I did not! But the Imperials are confident! Mm. Yes, yes! Very confident indeed! Look at the size of their contingent! But here is something they do not know! A rumor, which you will find most interesting, I think. They say an elderly rogan and samurai appeared on Kogane Dori with a beauteous maiden, hmm, and sold his katana to a pawn broker. It was no common katana either, but one of surpassing craftsmanship. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of, um, Marge Simpson in there. <laughs> I'd love to be one of your neighbors hearing this at midnight. <laughs> they must think I'm a fool. They must think I'm a fucking fool. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna stop there, though. Well, that is interesting, assuming it's true. Do you corroborate the rumor with the pawnbroker in question? Uh, er, no. Forgettably, I do not have a working relationship with the master of Shofuku... Shichiten. Sh 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 now, why would that be, I wonder? If I didn't know better, I'd think he'd lend you money. Ahem! He will help you, I am certain. While you speak with him, I'll make contact with my guardian connections and learn what I can of their progress. A glimpse of the blade is all I need to be sure. But is it wise to let uh, the Namazu out of our sight? What choice do we have? We quite literally don't really have another choice. No other choice but this, and a fine choice it is, though I am adept at gathering information, it is so much more efficient to share the work. I want a plushie of him. Literally laying in bed awake hearing Toad. It could be worse. They could hear worse things at night. I think Toad is a blessing. He's right. Given the urgency, we would do well to split up, and so I will go with our friend here. Oh. You, but, er, yes, yes, we will go together, and there will be no boots. Let's be about it then. Good luck with the katana. Shall we re reconvene at the pier later on? Fragrant as the Ruby Bazaar offices are, I prefer the fresh air. Worse things, indeed. Worse things. I believe Alize has her task well in hand. Shall we seek out the pawnbroker? Oh, what is this? Greeting. have learned the about greeting. Do y'all want me to um, bring back the uh, the British accents? Oh, it's like, it's like, um, a, like Elise's greeting. Hmm. Someone said that they, someone not too long ago said they follow me on Twitter now is their first chance seeing my stream. Hello, welcome! <laughs> Hope you're enjoying Toad. If it hurts your voice, then no, no it, it doesn't hurt my voice. Doing the accents don't hurt my voice. Um, it fumbles the way I read because I have to think ab about some pronunciation because there are some words that I can't even say like in my normal voice. So I'm like, oh God, how would I say that in like a British voice? Only thing that th uh, hurts my throat is doing Toad. Everything in order. Then let us proceed to Kagane Dori and find the master of Shufuka, Shufuku Shichiten. Shichiten. Shich shi 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 Shichiten. Shichiten? Shichiten. Shichiten. Shichiten? Mm. Mm, it's quiet. Too quiet. Hmm. Where is everybody? Have you all abandoned me already? Oh, there's one. <laughs> 
Your character is stunning. Mine looks like a potato. Look, there's nothing wrong with looking like a potato. Are you a Lollafell by any chance? <laughs> Modest maiden. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, there's Vosk blending in with the commoners. <laughs> Welcome, good madame. Welcome. Will you be buying or... Ah, so you've heard tell of the Rogadin Samurai's katana. Small wonder. It is a fine example of its kind. One moment. No shot I found this guy so quickly. Dare I hope you found a pawnbroker? Excellent work, Peppa. And that is the katana? It does look like it. There can be no doubt. It is Gosetsu's blade. The craftsmanship is as exquisite as not. And you'll be pleased to know that the pledge has just expired. I should be glad to sell it to you, assuming you have the coin. This is no ordinary weapon, you understand, and it is priced accordingly, but if you are serious, I suggest you act quickly, as several noted collectors have already expressed an interest. Come on, Sarnix, give me your gill. Hmm. The blade represents conclusive proof of Gosetsu's survival. I suppose this could be considered a necessary cost, sorry, in securing his safe return. Yet it is not a decision I can make alone. Least of all, when our nation has scarce begun to rebuild. I'll pay. I'll pay. Sugar mama here. Nay, my friend. Grateful though I am for the offer, I cannot ask this of you. It is enough to know that Gosetsu is alive and well. Yugiri, wait. The Sirens will buy the katana. Pray consider it a gift. M myself, you know, your kindness is touching, truly. Yet in matters of coin, would Mr. Sataru not expect to be consulted? Come now, a friend would never have relinquished his blade were the need not great. And are we not bound, bound by honour to help a friend in need? I say we are, and I am sure Tataru will wholeheartedly agree. It's settled then. You have made a wise choice, my friend. Such pieces are few and far between. Now, if you'd be so good as to come this way, I shall prepare the necessary papers. I know, Oraz are very, very cute. If I may ask, sir, after he visited your establishment, do you perchance know where the old samurai went? He is our friend, and we will return his weapon to him. A friend of yours, you say? I see. Well then, I suppose there can be no harm in telling you. No sooner had I provided him with the requested sum than his pretty young companion began clamoring for Dongo. I surely rec recommended those served at the Umineko Tea House, and thither did they set off. I can't say that because of my fucking tiny lisp. Clamoring for Dango. Can these truly be the same people? It makes no sense. I uh, know I'm saying the same thing. Some manner of code, perhaps, but it avails us not to speculate. Let us go to this tea house and see if we can pick up their trail. Did she get, like, memory loss or something? And, like, now she's just, like, baby? Like, what? what is this? I don't know what it is that is so funny about seeing other players just idling around in the world doing nothing, but it's- it's fucking great. I have no idea where I am. I can't even see me on the map. It's so cl clustered. Hey, Viper! Hi, Genesis. Ah, uh, this is where you are. But of course I remember. How could I forget a pair like that? The most beautiful girl you'll ever see, scoffing down Dongo as if her life depended on it, while the old samurai looked on. Not quite what he expected, I'll wager. Far be it from me to gossip about my customers, but he was planning to spirit her away across the Ruby Sea, out of the reach of her family, no doubt. When the girl had finally had her fill, they set off in the direction of Shiokaze uh, Hostelry, Presumably to find someone discreet with a boat. So Gosetsu made, makes for Doma. But this woman who travels with him. Sorry, I forgot my accent. The more I hear about her, the more I wonder if she can truly be Yotsuyu. Oh, green tea set. Cute. 
Rosetsu's trail leads to the sea, and that is where Yugiri would go. While doubts remain over the identity of Rosetsu's traveling companion, for now we can but follow the trail. Come, let us away to the pier and make ready to sail. With luck, Alize will have already joined Master Soroban and Mistress Tataru there. It's funny, people can be doing whatever they want and they decide to just idle in a random game. Hey, I do it. <laughs> I do it all the time. I'm always idling this game, especially with my friends. And my husband! Okay. Look, there he is, right now. No, I lied. That's not him. That's Soroban. From afar, they look the same. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong, chat. Does that not look like my husband from afar? <laughs> I swear my husband is not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I spent a lot of time talking with friends and hanging out in Final Fantasy XIV. You're in good company then. <laughs> I think that says a lot about Pepper Fart, you're right. Excellent timing, my friends. Mistress Alize arrived mere moments ago. All all went well at my end. Gyodo met with an Imperial officer and wheedled his way to some new information. It seems the troops who recently arrived in Kugane came directly from Garlemald. The Imperial's base here kept been kept in the dark. That's not all. A contingent of aforementioned troops are preparing for deployment to the Ruby Sea. If I didn't know better, I'd say they'd picked up Gosetsu's trail. Then your information matches ours. We are quite certain that Gosetsu seeks to cross to the mainland. Her for a bit like a turtle? You're so right. You're so right. And we love him for it. I'm sorry, did I hear that right? You used Scion funds to buy Gosetsu's katana at the asking price? I well, we were in some haste and it seemed a worthwhile gesture. Speaking of which, here's the contract of sale. Proceed, the, the man is paid. No shot this man went. Yeah, here you go. Deal with it. <laughs> she gonna faint? It was bread. You agreed to this. Give me strength. <sighs> well, it's not like the search can wait. You'd best be on your way. <laughs> beard? <laughs> That's a beard? I thought it said bread. <laughs> Like dough! <laughs> like... <laughs> like money, you know? Like damn, you got that bread! <laughs> I really thought that said bread! And I did <laughs> I didn't think twice, I just went with it! Y'all... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I said it with my whole chest. <laughs> Let me have it. Let me have this. Oh, I just noticed, chat. You're gone. I'm sorry. But Alfie, you know, we need to talk. I want to, you to come straight to the offices as soon as you get back. Promise me. Mm hmm. We're going to Ruby Press. Ruby Press! Tataru seemed rather vexed, is she not? Ever the melodramatist. I'm sure our finances can stretch to a single sword. Remind me to explain the value of such gestures uh, when we next see her. Ah, Pledigress. We have work to do. It's a duty? Who the fuck am I going to be fighting? Right. I suggest we begin by learning what we can from the sentries. Oh, eat papa soup. Oh shit. 
War! Tis but a war! What's going on out there? Travelers, are you? You may wish to postpone your plans. The Garleans have launched an attack on the Confederacy. Oh, fuck. We have no reason to believe they'll turn their attention here. But for your own safety, I suggest you return to Kugane. Nope, this is my uh, battle now. You know, I was gonna ask, cause like in the preview for this mission, that was in it. And I was like, that does not look like a ship, but I guess it was an airship. The Garleans bear no love for the Confederacy, but with Doma lost to them, why would they attack? Unless. Unless Yotsugu is on that island. Oh. Even if she isn't, our allies are under attack and they need our help. We will help them while you remain with Soroban. Arguing will only delay us. Is that clear? Fine, but you haven't heard the last of this. I love these two. Soroban, we may need to make a swift exit. See that the boat is ready to sail at a moment's notice. It shall be done. What, and you're going to swim there, are you? <laughs> Tis the quickest way, and you may rest assured I've been practicing. Oh, good for you. Better than me. Oh my God, wait. Yeah! <laughs> Come. Me too, kid. Me too, kid. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm so proud of him. An opening. Your defense is Wait, lacking. Are these mine? Leave this to me. Wait. Oh, that is no. Oh, I thought it was a dark night for a second. Ah! It's my hot chocolate. Hello? Hello? Game? Thank you. Ah! You know, thank you. Nope. Pointless because I already arrived. That's fine though. But God, I keep wanting to use my abilities as though I'm playing as as a as a dark knight and it's 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 stressing me out, but I got this. This is fun. Oh, I could also wait, 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 I got stun? Who the fuck stun me? Why did you stun me? I'm gonna use it ability, but we'll take it, I guess. We. All right, let's go. Oh, cutscene. Thank you. I figured that'd be it. Can we get that as a sub alert, Alfie? Sure. <gasps> there they are. What happened to her? Lady Yotsuyu, we're here to rescue you. Please, come with us. Stay back, Tsuyu. She's like a baby now. <coughs> <gasps> Are you alright? 
Is, is he all right? Bonked on the head? Wait, is he all right? Gozetsu. No, he just Damn it. Old. We took too long. Change of plan. Eliminate hostiles. <laughs> All forces, attack! Let me like lower my chair a little bit. Oh. Hey, hey, that's better. All righty. Come on, babes. Come on, load in, load me in. I'm pushing buttons, I'm doing things. I'm gonna get you too. You know. This guy is 1v1ing Alfino's carbuncle. <laughs> Down. Oh, there's another one. Hey. That's not good. I don't like that. Dead it in. I'm surprised this one is still up, but that's okay. Should I play? Absolutely. If you haven't already played this game, now is the time for you to try it. Lose your life the way I lost my life. And don't look back. Do it? Oh, is there another? There is. Oi! Why are you targeting me now? back oh back I'm going further back than that oh god ah this game this game this game this game doing duties with the controller is so infuriating because the controls are so bogged. The art of my forebears. 
Oh, where the hell did he come from? There's more of them? There's more? When the hell did more get here? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I got stunned. Did I get stunned? I thought I got stunned. I did get stunned. Draw them to me? Oh, that. Oh god, oh god. Well, well, well. Oh, oh, no. Is he doing the thing? 10 seconds to Starstorm? That's the name of your ability? That's kind of dope. That's kind of cool. Focus, release. Is he gonna one shot them all? Oh, fuck! Kinda. He brought them down a ton. Still up to. Oh, this one is maxed out. Self detonate? Wait. Wait. Oh no. 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 Oh, thank God. I was gonna say I've done the Alex. I've done some of the Alexander raids. I know what that means. I know what that means. <laughs> God, Pepper is smashed. Gosetsu, thank the heavens. <laughs> Yugiri, my friends, the Kami were kind to guide your steps this way. <laughs> it's over. The Imperials are retreating. I suppose we have you to thank for that. But they would never have come here were it not for her. I had a bad feeling the moment your samurai friend arrived with that woman in tow. <laughs> they all immediately give Do not be afraid, work. Suyu. These people are my friends. What is going on here? Friends. What is going on here? Yeah, Adrian, it is, but it's still, like, it's funky. Doesn't make a difference. Forgive me, but at the risk of souring the mood, I believe you owe us an explanation. Mm -hmm. You may start by telling us what happened at Doma Castle. Mm -hmm. Of course. I'll not begrudge you that. As you know, we were trapped inside the keep when it collapsed. But even as the roof crumbled above us, so too did the floor below. We were swept out into the one river, where we would surely have drowned had a stout wooden door not chanced to float by, offering us a raft of sorts. Exhausted, we drifted out to sea, at the mercy of the tides, which saw fit to dispense us on a desert island. She was with you the entire time. Aye. T'was her kimono which saved her from Hian's blade, believe it or not. Some... Gali and witchcraft in the weave. But it offered precious little protection against the fall. Though she survived, she awoke bereft of all her memories. I knew it. And speaking oh, like a man. child. Yeah. A trick, surely. That was my first thought, I. And I contemplated cutting her down and being done with it. Contemplated it long and hard. Yet the Kami saw fit to deliver us from certain death. T'was their will that we survive, both of us, together. And together we shall go before our master. He shall be the one to judge. Aww. Judge what? She's your prisoner, old man. Do with her as you will. Call her Tsuyu, or whatever else tickles your fancy. Oh my god. 
'Twas a name given out of necessity whilst on the road. Nothing more. Necessity? As you say. Why necessity, though? But remember this. Our people suffered much at that woman's hands. When the time comes, I trust you won't let emotion blind you to what needs to be done. You have my word. Well, I must be going. I have an unholy mess to clean up. You should be on your way, too, before the Imperials decide to take another tilt. Oh, and we'll oh. overlook the tithe this once. You're welcome. Because he's a bear and she's a necessity. Get out. Get out! <laughs> As Tansui says, we should move on. It would not do for Yotsuyu to be seen here. Now, if I know my sister, she will already be waiting with the boat at the nearby pier. Let's go and see if I'm right. Damn. Poor Yotsuyu. I mean, no. I mean, yes, but no. <laughs> like, she's a wretch. But that fucking sucks. That actually does suck. Slider, though! Still hate her though, but I can understand why they would, uh, why they might choose to spare her instead. Cause she's no longer the person who did all of that, you know. Sensu, like the gods you're oh, fuck. I accidentally like moved my my knee and it propped up my it pushed my thumb against the thingy. <laughs> Can you blame me for worrying? Strong as Papa is, anything could happen in the chaos. Okay, so she was worried about us. Enough about me, we need to talk about her. Yeah, that we do. Um greetings? But tell me you've lost your memory, and that's fine, but I want you to know something. I won't be taking my eyes off you, not for a moment. These people are strange. Are you sure they're your friends? I am. They may behave strangely, but I trust them with my life. You have not to fear. Hi, Auntie! Alright, if you say so. Right, tis past time we set sail. I, for one, would not keep Lord Hien waiting without due cause. Aye, and the longer we tarry, the more we risk inviting trouble. Lest you forget the red coach and bear no love for Yotsu you either. I shall deliver you to familiar shores, near Asari, but out of the villager's sight. E. So, I'm assuming this whole patch is going to be relative to Doma. Is this for Yotsuyu? Is that for her? <laughs> Here is where we part ways, my friend. I pre well, Pepper, when you are not otherwise occupied, I would speak with you about my next business venture. No! No! Unless it's part of the MSQ. No! A blade like Osetsu is worth a fortune, enough to buy a house and furnish it. Which you would know had you bothered to check the pr He didn't even check the price? He just fucking went for it? What? I, I had no idea. Elfie, no! No! This business ventures of Sorobans. You will give it fair hearing, I trust. He has been good to us, after all. As for me, I... I should look into drawing upon my personal funds. <laughs> well, I guess it's part of the MSK. Oh, it's not! I will, I will take it though. And that is it. I will not read it. I get the furry lord's quest? What the fuck is the furry lord? Yugiri is eager to see Gosetsu safely back to their master. 
We must meet with Lord Hien as soon as possible, though may have not at the Enclave. I will send word requesting that he receive us at the House of the Fierce, where there are few prying eyes. If all are in agreement, I shall scout ahead and see that the way is clear. Pray follow as swiftly as you are able, and join me on the outskirts of Namai. Sounds good, Mommy. Whatever you say. Oh. oh. You looking at the crowd? Yeah, they're an odd bunch. I know. Can I just TP? Yeah, neat. I mean, I, I guess I could just technically walk it. Oh, what I just accepted. But what is the furry lord? Oh, the four lords questline is the trial series, like the contain. Oh! But why are they called the furry lords? I guess I'm gonna have to do it to find out, right? Y'all are not gonna tell me, huh? <laughs> as well. Good. The others are hiding nearby. Let us proceed. Quietly, if you please. Cutscene. I love me a good cutscene. This one had better be voiced. Daddy Hien, I've missed you so. My Lord Hien, I am returned. Save your tears for the morrow. For we who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. And welcome it you did, even as the keep fell down around us. At that moment, in your smile, I spied a shred of hope. One which I have clung to ever since. Is Daddy angry? <laughs> Go, Setsu. Full glad am I to see you alive and well. We have played this scene before, have we not? Though this time our roles are reversed. Hmm. That mm -hmm. they are. Meaning you know how I feel. Wholly at a loss for words. Welcome back, old friend. His arms? It's so fun. And for what? Now then. Though we rejoice at your return, it seems you have brought with you certain complications. You mean Suyu? Rise, my friend. Tell me everything. We can take a detour to get you through them if you want. Could be good content for a day stream. Ooh, sounds good. The Empire good. is bold indeed to send a token force to engage the Confederacy. As acting Viceroy, Yotsuyu would have been privy to Imperial secrets. The Galleons will not soon give up the chase. Nay, it will end with her capture or her death. Are you a friend too? <laughs> she claims to have lost her memory, though I know not if she speaks true. I brought her here that you might decide her fate. Lost her memory, you say? Regardless, the people have not forgotten. Mm -hmm. Her face yet haunts their dreams. She cannot roam free. We will hold her here for a time. I wonder if she's gonna have the same Place her in Jufia's care with the express Dora, instruction you know? that she is not to be seen. Because they yes, both my very much like mimic each other. They have a lot of parallels, like shared parallels, you know? No, I don't want to. Don't let her take me away. It's all right, Suyu. 
I will come with you. Be a good girl, and listen to Yogiri. I saw the look she gave him. <laughs> Meet you, girl. From a hound at his throat to a puppy at his heel. If this is an act, it is a remarkable performance. What do you think, Chad? Do you think it's an act? I am suspicious. I am very suspicious because I'm not sure how this could possibly unfold. I don't know. Thank you for delivering Gosetsu back to us in one piece. We are lucky indeed to have friends who would journey to the other side of the world to help us, and repeatedly at that. Zyra behave? Why? We have much more to think upon, but as regards the Empire- But as regards the Empire, okay. We can but watch and wait. Smile- Why the smiles? Now then, seeing as you've come all this way, you must allow me to show you around the Enclave. I will not have you thinking we've been idle in your absence. The rebuilding effort proceeds apace. I'm pleased to say, and we are now ready to welcome home our countrymen who were displaced by the war. Should they so desire it, there is a place here for those who fled to Eorzea. We should be delighted to accept your invitation, Lord Hien. Hien. And I have no doubt that your subjects at Revenant's Toll will be heartened to hear that their lord has not forgotten them. What is she thinking of? Hmm? Oh, well, it's nothing. I just thought that Gosetsu and Yugiri would be back by now. Speak of the devil? Oh, well, the music stopped. Forgive me, my lord, but Captain Jafuya is, no lo is nowhere to be found. Oh, he was here when I arrived. For now, we have taken Yotsuyu to a private chamber and assigned another to watch over her, my lord. But I find it passing strange that the captain should leave his post with nary a word. That does seem most unusual. If you mean to look for the man, we would be happy to assist you. Undercover? We should be glad of the help. While I search without, mayhap you could ask our soldiers here if they know anything. I will join you. With respect, my lord, you should remain here. Should the Empire move against us, you will be better to you will be better able to coordinate our response. Ha! And there I was thinking I was in charge. I was I was gonna make the same joke. But you have the right of it. Go on then. I'll I'll mind the house. Okay. Chat? Are we nervous? I'm nervous. I'm... I'm I'm a little scared. Haname. Hmm? You seek the captain? He passed by a little while, while ago. I, uh, I wonder if I should tell someone as it happened. As it happens. He did not look well, you see. I asked if what was the matter and he told me the past had caught up with him. But I doubt it was that. There are older men in our ranks. Okay. I've got the hiccups now, but that's all right. Where'd you place your webcam? In front of me. Right here. Captain Jifuya. He was headed for the northern entrance when I saw him last. I was going to invite him to train with us, but he did not hear me call out to him. If you need him, I dare say the sentry on duty will be able to tell you more. Indeed, I suggested as much to Mistress Alize when she came asking earlier. Is something amiss? Yes, he's gone. Scared of what? Ooh, woo. Uh, look, this story has a really good. It's it's really good at giving me false hope. All right. I the captain went outside some few bells ago and look looking quite unwell. I am sorry to say. This I mentioned to Lord Gosetsu, who straightway struck out after him. I hope they will be all right. Gosetsu, too. Seems everyone is bent on joining the search. That's all well and good, but someone has to stay behind. There's no telling what the Empire is plotting. You go on, Pepper. Alfino and I shall hold the fort. Sounds good. Alright, I'll do a little bit more of this until we get to a good stopping point, and then I will be crawling into bed. Because it's almost 1am. And I'm quite tired. I've been live for four, 
a little, almost four and a half hours. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm doing pretty well. It's been a little bit difficult, you know, trying to get back into streaming, but I'm having fun, and I think that's what matters most. I thought it would be a lot harder, to be frank. Streaming is not easy, especially when you are super disabled. I'm doing my best. Hello? Good shit, sorry. Thank you, Sarnix. Ah! By the Kami! Your Lord Hian! Leave me! Leave me, I beg of you! Say nothing of this. I, I, I was never here. What? There you are. Lady Yugiri, Lord Gosetsu, forgive me uh, my abrupt disappearance. You have your reasons, I am sure. Will you not share them? I was... I was her master when she was yet a courtesan. By the Kami. She worked in my establishment. Her father was a regular client of mine. One day, coming. quite without preamble, he offered to sell her to me. Yeah, she may be no maiden, he said, but she has some use left in her. He sold her short. When I first beheld her, I was struck by her beauty. And yet, behind her eyes there was an emptiness. It was as if she had given up on life. She seemed more a doll than a woman. It was no profession for her, but I knew she would be popular. And so it proved. Men flocked to drown themselves in that cold, bottomless gaze. The rest you know. She became an Imperial informant and for her loyal service won the office of acting Viceroy. While you came to serve the Liberation Front. Hmm. Tis said that the atrocities Yotsuyu committed were driven by vengeance. If so, I bear part of the blame for creating the monster she became. Well, she doesn't remember you, I can tell you that. Joining the Front was meant to be my atonement. Aww. Checks out. But the truth is... The truth is... I am a coward. Whose only thought was to escape her wrath. Then as now. I see. Then I shall recommend that you be assigned to a new post. Mm -hmm. I trust you have no objections, you giddy? None. It would not do to leave Yotsuyu in his care. I am in your debt. It was that easy? That's it? That's it? Who is it that you seek to protect, Gosetsu? Idle musings. Pray, pay me no mind. No, her hunch is gonna be right all along, right? Forgive me, now is not the time for brooding. Hmm, come, let us rejoin the others. There's always time for brooding. I brood all the time. Brood away vibes. Any problem that you ran a business where men could sell to extra women to you? No big deal. Not the end of the world. No, what's the worst that could happen? Bye, Sarnix. Thank you for popping in, for modding. And doing your stretches in front of me in game. I mucho appreciate it. Yeah, this game has like a really weird way of giving characters redemption arcs when they don't deserve them. But I don't know. 
I wouldn't even call them redemption arcs, but like the game kind of does this thing where they really want you to feel for every character, which I guess helps create, I guess like a morally gray headcanon for your character. Do you eat ass in this game? I mean, it depends on what your definition of eating ass is and how explicit you'd like it to be. I thank you for your help in the re in the search. Gosetsu has told me all that that transpired. I would not presume to defend the life Jifuya, Jifuya led before he joined the front, nor will I condemn it. Frankly, it is not my place to judge. I will only say this. The Jifuya, I know, has ever been a man of courage. That he should feel driven to flee bespeaks the, de <laughs> the, the depth of his terror. <laughs> Even now, Yotsuyu casts a shadow over the realm. But the question of what is to be done with her must wait. <laughs> the Empire is on the move once more. <laughs> the Empire is on the move and Hien would not be caught on the back foot. I guess technically that would have been the... the place to... to end, but... While you were out searching for Chifuya, we received word from our shinobi allies. An imperial airship has been sighted over Doman soil. Yes? Okay, glad we had the same reaction. <laughs> our visitor's objective remains unclear. It may be another attempt to recover Yasuyu, or a prelude to invasion. Either way, the craft reportedly advances at speed, and appears bound for Castrum Fluminus. I mean to go there and ascertain their intent. If we ride out in force, it will only end one way, so we shall keep our numbers to a minimum. Yugiri, Pepper, can I count on you? Oh, fuck yeah, babes. Yes, my lord. Mm. Alize and I would fain play our part as well. We will not stand idly by while a common foe threatens the lands of our friends and allies. We would be glad of the help. You are acquainted with Haku Hakuro, I believe? And I bid you seek him out and assist in maintaining order in the Enclave. When the people see an Imperial airship, they are liable to panic. I would have you reassure them, and, should it come to it, aid in their evacuation. Very well, we shall depart at once. Do care. No, oh, do take care. Not bad. What of me, my lord? The Empire may well be after Yatsuyu. You are to remain here and guard her until my return. As you wish. Very so close to Pepper and Yugiri. Oh, he better stay close to me. Not I will stay close to him. Well, well, guard duty and not a breath of protest. No, I've seen it all. To cast him Fluminus, then. Let us find out what the Empire's game is. Ooh, do I stop here? I really want to keep going, chat. I really want to keep going. Oh, it's getting spicy already. Ooh! How are Lollafell as a race? Um, I mean, I guess they're good. I don't have any, like, quarrels about them. I screenshot a funny subtitle this time and sent it to you. Wait, Jay, you eat ass with teeth? Why do you use teeth? Don't use teeth. That's not a good idea. That hurts. Unless you're, like, picking off dingleberries, I guess that could be useful. I mean, it depends on what your definition of eating ass is. <laughs> The subtitles that Jay just sent me, um, headcanon for your character awesomest game. I mean, it depends on what your definition of eating ass is and how it's supposed to be like. <laughs> Don't kill me. Was that actually what you were talking about? Wait, what? I have two J's in the chat. Now I'm getting confused. I don't think I was e I don't think I was talking about eating ass. I mean, wait, was I talking about eating ass? I was talking about eating ass, wasn't I? I think there was a brief moment of me talking about <laughs> J1 or J2. Well, J Charlemagne, I believe, would be J1 because he's the better J. Don't let him know that I say I said that. He has me muted. He can't. He doesn't know. This is a subtitle glitch. Oh no! But the subtitles are exposing me because they're letting him know that I'm saying all this. My FC is doing Fala Lala days where you fanta into a Lala for the holidays. Wait, I want to do that. That's funny. All right. 
Yeah, I want to keep going. I really, really want to keep going. I feel like I should like end it here, but the story is juicy. The story is juicy. Should I do one more? Just one more chat. Is that why Subtil said J1? They made no sense just now. It did. That is why. J1. I thought I said lasagna. Seven more? Seven more? I can't do Oh, Jesus. I don't think I could do seven more. My legs are getting tired and I am quite sleepy. But I don't have any anything to do tomorrow. Apart, I am streaming tomorrow. I could just do the rest tomorrow. Oh, wait, wait, no. oh, fuck it, I'm doing a few more. Oh, I should hop off now. It's 1 a.m. If you're looking for a good stop more, there isn't one now. Full send. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. I'm four quests until 4.3. Are you dead ass? Why are your legs getting tired? Bro, because I have arthritis. Ah! Okay, we're fine. Wow, I actually have four more? Alright, well, I'm doing- What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Fuck it. We're finishing it. We're finishing this. And then tomorrow, we'll start 4.3. Sound good? Yeah? Chat, that means you can't abandon me. If any of you fuckers are like, Oh, I'm hopping off so I can go sleep. I swear to God, rubbing it in my face? Nah. Nah, you're up with me. You're staying up with me. Huh? Huh? Or so help me guard. Guard? You can probably finish post uh, Stormblood tomorrow. Wait, no shot, really? Full send it, by the way, bedtime. Hello? Hey, yo, take it back. Take it back. Oh, okay, the music ended. I hope I'm here when you do the best uh, Stormblood trial. Well, it'll probably be tomorrow. 21 quests from 4.3 to the last post Stormblood quest. Whoa, that's it? You hit the point where you won't want to stop playing post Stormblood and we'll get through all of it. Don't say that to me. Okay. So how about this chat? All right. Okay, let's uh let's let's talk about this. Let's talk about this real quick. How about this, okay? I did 19 today? Girl, don't say that to me. <laughs> All right. Hear me out. Hear me out. Oh. Okay. Tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow. What I will do is I will go live and I'll do my dailies or my nightlies, okay? Because that, that'll take like two hours. We can all chit chat or maybe I'm lying. I might not do that. Um, but regardless, we will kamikaze through Stormblood, to, through the remains of it. We will get through it. Sound good? Capiche? So tomorrow we will start at 4.3 and we will get all the way to Shadowbringers. And then we will not start Shadowbringers until Monday because Saturday I'm busy. I've got I've got a drop off to do like someone bought one of my dresses. So I got to hurry around to give them that. I have D&D. &D, I have the club. So Sunday will be my rest day. So we won't have another stream until Monday. After tomorrow's. Which means we got... We got a whole weekend to let Shadowbringers, like, simmer. Ah! Okay. Okay, yeah? Are we in? Shake on it. No counter offers. What could the counter offer even be? The area is secure. Whatever our visitor's purpose, they plainly believe they can achieve it alone. 
The craft should come into view at any moment. Let us await them inside the castrum. Ooh. Okay, wait. There are four quests left, but how long is that going to take? That's the next question. Ooh. It's a little penis. It looks like a little dick. Is it idling or moving? Can't a smoke myself. signal? Thoughts, you giddy? Oh, that's what that is? In former times, such signals were used to announce the coming yeah. of an emissary of peace. In Doma, at least. But could that truly be their intent? This has got to be one big ruse. Who can say? Oh my god. Oh. Okay, Whatever they want, care. we cannot simply blast them out of the sky. I mean, we can. Not when they were so gracious as to honor one of our cherished traditions. I would not have it said that we Dormans want for propriety. Then I shall go and reconnoiter. Nay, that won't be necessary. We will meet them openly. I would welcome this student of Dorman history in person. Whomsoever he or she may be. Or they. As you wish, my lord. I shall arrange for a signal of our own to be fired in answer. The little penis is smoking. Looks like an excadrill. <laughs> Or whatever the name of that Pokemon is. <laughs> well, that we should be That's received by the Lord of Dorma himself. And this is a little fella. <laughs> I but afford an emissary of peace, the courtesy he is due. Welcome to Dorma, my lord. Ah, where are my manners? I am Asahi Sus Brutus, Ambassador Plenipotentiary of Garlemald. Asahi Sus Brutus? He is heir to the Nayuri clan and Yotsu's stepbrother. Stepbro. No, never mind, never mind. It never seems never I mind. need not introduce myself. Never mind, nope. Not in the presence of the famed nope. Yugiri Mistwalker. Your skills as a shinobi are known far and wide. My lady. It is true. The former acting viceroy is my sister. Yet, bonds of kinship aside, we have precious little in common. As will soon become plain, I come not to sow strife, but to end it. I am of the populares. A collective which represents the interests of the common man. Long have we labored to bring about reform to the Empire's provincial policy. Happily for us, our master acknowledges the need for change. Indeed, his radiance, Emperor Varis Zos Galvus, personally sanctioned this oh, mission, yeah, that's the granting me the authority to speak with his voice. Or no. That's like the Botox Ashley Tisdale, right? To negotiate peace with Dorma. Father, father. Okay, father. Right, 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 right. Yes, yes, yes. Well then, we have much to discuss. Will you accompany me to my hall? Oh, this is risky. <laughs> Gladly, my lord. Sinos, Verus, Lucius, Solus. Wow, now I know the whole lineage. Thank you. Wow, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. We shall escort our guests across the river to the Enclave. Yugiri, pray go on ahead to the y Yuzuka Manor docks and see that the fairies are ready. Aye aye, Captain!
Varys and Souls always make me think of Varric and Souls. That's exactly what came to mind when you said that. <laughs> I'm too tired to like make, well, not tired per se, but like I'm too, you know, to make a joke, but. <laughs> They're with me always. I can't escape them. I can't escape Dragon Age, Jay! Um, hey, uh, are any of my Uber drivers available? <laughs> I, um, you know, I got a bit of a long way to go, and, uh, whew, my asthma's kind of kicking in, <clears throat> and my legs, whoo, I fucking love that combat music so much. Jay, can you find me the combat music, like that specific tone? Or, or um, theme rather, and send it to me. No, I don't have flying hair yet. Aren't you riding an animal? Um. Um. Oh. Uh. Would you look at that? My chocobo ran away. Oh. Uh, who would have thought? Ooh. Final Fantasy fourteen is just a Dragon Age fanfic. I believe it. Wholeheartedly, believe it. <laughs> On my way. Oh. I can't ride that. Bro King! A Rouge King! Thank you for the- Excuse me. Thank you for the prime- Oh wait. I have to be your friend, don't I? Am I your friend? Oh, I am. That's why that's showing up. Wait. I can't- Wait. I can't get- Oh yes, I have to be in your party. That's it. Hey, hee haw, hee haw. Yeah, need to be in a party, not friend, yeah. Look, it's late, alright? Let me make let me make my mis my, my mistakes, okay? Um, just keep going that way. Oh, there's a Vosk! Bye, Vlad! Fake, I thought you all were gonna be staying up with me to um see the completion of uh 4.2. I guess not. Fake as fuck. Well, to be honest, like, I don't even know if I'm actually going to, um, get all the way through. But we'll see what happens. Drop me here! Here! Oi! Right here! No! Too much! Three star. Three star. Three star. Three, three star. Okay. I go now. Lord Hien and I will accompany the Imperial Delegation on the first ferry. When you are ready, speak with the boatmen and join us on the other side. Speak with the boatmen, she said? The skipper? Are all free to travel in and out of the Enclave? Oh, all are free. Do you speak? Seek passage. I do. I do. You sent it to me. Thank you. I already fell asleep at least once. Might as well stay a week. Stay a week? Stay a week. Stay a week. Monroe bedtime is like four hours ago. Yeah, normally mine is two, but for the last few days, I've been up until like 3 a.m. Oi. Literally playing this game or like talking with people about this game. It's like. I can't cut to break, really. Hey. Oh, I'm a Tony! Wait, oh, I've never been here. Oh, wait, this is... Wait! Oh, I, it just dawned on me about, like, for where I, where I, I, I... Oh, oh! Oh! It looks all clean! Isn't this, like, Doma Castle? Or, like, the, the Doma? Like, the, um... Hien's... Yeah? Yeah! They're rebuilding it! Oh, they're doing such a good job! Look, it's all cleaned up! Dome and Enclave, that's it. Thank you. Once you tune to the main ether right here, it will not appear on maps. So you have to select from the teleport menu. What? Why? Why? Oh. 
Are you see? Are you dead ass? Huh. Oh, cause it's a special place? Look. I'm special though. Great game design, indeed. So stupid. There you are, Pepper. So first things first, what do you think of the Enclave? I must say, I'm quite proud of what my countrymen have accomplished in the time. I'm very proud too! It looks really good! You should be very proud. We have an ether right now, courtesy of the Onishishu. Be sure to tune to it, would you? Once it has the Warrior of Light seal of approval, people might actually start using the thing. <laughs> but on to the matter at hand. The ambassador and his retinue? are at my hall, taking their ease- <laughs> I read that wrong, I thought I said taking their asses- taking their ease ahead of the negotiations. I want you there when the talking starts. It will serve to send a message to the Empire that Eorzea and Doma stand united. I am not normally one for hollow posturing, but in this game of nations, such gestures carry weight. Oh, and should you feel uneasy about speaking for the Scions, Alfino and Alize will also be there. You need only eat, drink, and look imposing. Say you'll come. Oh. Oh, I'll come. Oh, I'm coming. I knew I could count on you. I'm a good girl, right? Yeah. When you are ready, come and join me at my humble abode, the Kien Khan. The guardsmen will see you in. Oh. You want me to come and see your humble abode? Lord Kien. I'm still a widow. Come on. I'm but a widow. Lord Hien is expecting you. May I show you in? Maybe. Maybe. Is that where we're gonna fuck? Oh, nope, there's other people here. Well, I don't mind cooking. Cooking up a dinner! Oh, I know that must be so uncomfortable. In their armor. On behalf of my delegation, I offer you my humblest thanks. Never did I imagine that I would meet the gallant and noble Lord of Dorma himself, nor be welcomed into his magnificent hall. You'll forgive me if we forgo <laughs> the pleasantries. You say you are come to negotiate peace. God, they say come a lot, huh? Unless I am mistaken. Such negotiations are typically conducted between sovereign nations. I was not aware that the Emperor had recognized Doma's sovereignty. His radiance has yet to do so, that much is true. Know, however, that he has expressed willingness to cede Doma to her ancestral masters and treat with her as a friend. No, oh, this seems too good to be true. There's something off about this. Since the days of Emperor Solus, the Empire has aggressively expanded its territory. While you may not agree with our Founding Father's policy of expansion, I believe there is room for discussion on the matter of his lifelong goal, to rid the world of icons. Oh? Icons are a blight upon this star. They cannot be suffered to exist. This you know as well as we. In oh, his sorry. wisdom, Emperor Varus wishes to explore the possibility of an alliance to combat this common threat. On the condition that Dorma renounces summoning and pledges to police the Corjin's practice of it, his radiance would extend the hand of friendship. Doma has never shown any appetite for summoning, and it should go without saying that we will address any threat to our people, Icon or otherwise. But? With regard to the Kojin, I must stress that they only resorted to summoning under extreme provocation. When the Ruby Sea was at peace and their sacred relics safe, they looked not to their kami for protection. Yet even now, there are certain parties who would destabilize the region with ill-conceived military forays. Unless they alter their course, we cannot hope 
to be rid of icons. Quite. I can but apologize. In seeking to eliminate icons, the Empire creates them. Tis an irony among ironies, one with which the people of Eorzea are well acquainted, I am told. Indeed, many summonings are the result of persecution, the weak being driven to call upon the divine for deliverance from the strong. So it was in Alamigo, the bitter fruit of Garlean oppression. A tragic state of affairs. If we are to put an end to summoning once and for all, it shall not be through might, but harmony. It would be funny Yet if we I was continue a right to repeat now, huh? our mistakes, oblivious to the lessons of history. My comrades and I would change all that. We, Populares, have campaigned long and hard for a shift in imperial policy. And at last, the Emperor has seen fit to lend us an ear. Alas, there is a faction within Garlemald that would obstruct our every attempt at reform. A collection of pure-blooded Garlians who seek to consolidate their own supremacy. The Optimates. The Optimates? Tomatoes, Lest you wonder, tomatoes, theirs was the hand that loosed our forces potatoes, on the Confederacy. Tomatoes. Twas a regrettable incident, one that flies in the face of everything we believe. And I swear to do all in my power to prevent a reoccurrence. That would be most welcome. But if I may speak plain, if the Empire itself is not of one mind, how can we be certain that any peace we negotiate will be honoured? I cannot blame you for doubting us. Indeed, I should find it strange if you did not. And so, in the name of building trust, I would like to make a proposal. A prisoner exchange. Who are you giving us? And you're taking Yatsuyu, right? Hmm. Under Garlian rule, no few Dormans were conscripted into the Imperial Army. We would repatriate them in return for those of ours you captured in the oh. recent conflict. Naturally, any exchange would include the acting Viceroy. Yotsuyo? What makes you think we have her? Mm. Forgive me, my lord. Was it not your wish to speak plain? Let us not play games. I desire only to work to our mutual benefit. Got him. Got us. The Optimates tried and failed to take my sister by force. I would succeed by peaceable means, thereby strengthening my party's hand. It would be a lie to say I would not also be glad of my sister's safe return. Hmm. A fellow plain speaker. How refreshing. Very well. Your proposal has merit, but I will need time to consider it. Of course, my lord. May we remain in Dorma until you have come to a decision? You shall be our honored guests. Honored guests? You giddy. I leave the ambassador and his retinue in your care. See that they are well looked after. You have our gratitude, Lord Hien. We shall look forward to your answer. I want to know what happens so bad. Well, that was unexpected. Nope. You can say that again. I still don't know quite what to make of it all. But on the surface, a prisoner exchange does seem a good way to begin. The question is, can they be trusted? Well, that's the thing. Like, it is a good idea. Like, set your set our men free. We set yours free. 
But the timing of this is so opportune. You know? I don't know. Hmm. They had not to gain by divulging the details of their internal divisions. As it stands, we have no reason to doubt them. But the ambassador's mention of Yotsuyu left me ill at ease. It made his grand talk of peace seem uncannily like a lengthy preamble. I think this might all be a ruse to facilitate her retrieval. That's what I said at the beginning! A ruse! Perhaps, though I cannot fathom why they would go to such lengths. Yatsuyu may have been the acting viceroy, but she is not Garlean. Uh, nor even Highborn. Her value must presumably lie in what she knows. Which brings us to the little matter of her memory loss. Exactly. In her present condition, she would not yield any worthwhile intelligence, nor is she worth much as a bargaining piece. Alfino, you are well acquainted with the Empire's methods. I would have your thoughts on this matter. My knowledge is at your disposal, Lord Hien. While the ambassador's proposal is appealing in principle, it would be remiss of us not to give it due scrutiny. Indeed. Though it seems to me I have little choice but to accept regardless. With so many of our brothers and sisters languishing in the Imperial camps, I cannot well turn my back on a chance to secure their rep re repatriation? Eh. Only the kami know when I will be afforded another. But ere we continue, shall we excuse these two? I fear what falls will bore them to tears. I was just about to show myself out as it happens. Come on, Pepper. Let's leave Alfino to dispense his copious knowledge. Someone is so sore from being made to watch at Sakazuki. Go on and keep Elias a company. We are safe enough for now. Alright, I'll speak with Alize, and I think I may actually end it here. I think this actually might be a good ending point, because it is getting mighty juicy. I think... I think this is a good spot. <sighs> Chance to relax at last. I know when I'm out of my depth, Pepper. Though no weapons are drawn, a, ne a negotiation is no less a battle, and the stakes can be every bit as high. One misplaced word and people could die. It takes someone with a cool head, and I'll be the first to admit that's not me. So we're left with the eternal question. What to do while they prattle on? Steak? Tofu pancakes? Yum. And the next quest is question mark, question mark, question mark? They do that every time, don't they? I don't think so, do they? I'm pretty sure it updates. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. That could just be me being dramatic. And no one ruin it for me. No one tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm right. <laughs> did I come in right at the end? I think you did, dentist. Also, hello! Do I just accept it? Should I just accept it? And say fuck it? You're sire, not wrong or right. True. His forgotten home. Alize is pondering how best to make use of your reprieve from the tedium of negotiations. Okay. Thank you, Dentist, for summoning the Cleric Beast and gifting me 10 community subs. I really got gifted, so welcome to the Coven. I opened your badger emotes and your stay. So on that note, oh my god, hey look, is that Jay? Hey Jay, is that you? Hey look, it's Jay! But with freckles and hair dye. Wow! Looking good! Looking good! It's John Final Fantasy. It's Mr. Meteor Final Fantasy! Wowie sowie! Wowie sowie! What did he- What? Did he just tell me to fuck off? Is he telling me to- Is he telling me to fuck off? Oh, no. 
It's Joe Final Fantasy. <laughs> he sees you and blushes with embarrassment. Oh, I'm sorry. D did you want some privacy? Am I making you nervous? I'm I'm ter I'm terribly sorry. I I I'll just go back to Alize. It's okay. I'll I'll return. Oh, look at the little fellas. <laughs> Aha! Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Blacklist the imposter. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's going to be the end of my stream today. I think it's time. He's the guy. It's the guy. It's the guy. But yes, I think that will be the end of my stream for today. I really, really, really do want to continue, but it's getting it's getting spicy and it's getting late. So I feel it only best to save the rest for tomorrow. I know. I know. I know. I thought I would keep going, but I think it's the right move. Bit of a stream. My first stream. Yay! Thanks for the three-star Uber. I'm so sorry that you only got three stars. Um, don't worry about it. Sarnix, I think his rating is like an average of two. So you know what? You're doing pretty good. <laughs> This is that clank 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 ratchet as we ascend to the top of the roller coaster. What? What does that mean? Anyways. Thank you everybody for hanging out. I will see you all tomorrow for some more Final Fantasy Online shenanigans. We will continue onward with our quest to complete Stormblood. Uh, we might be able to do it tomorrow. Who knows? I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. And if not, we will finish it on Monday at the very least all right friends good night don't forget to join my discord server and follow me on social media that way you can stay up to date with all of my shenanigans can we get a little bump in the chat please and thank you let's see who's online right now who should we go raid good night friends let's see there's like nobody awake there's literally like no one awake Never mind. We're just... We're just gonna end stream. <laughs> Bye, friends! <laughs> Take care! Oh! And let me know in the Discord server what your thoughts of Stormblood are so far. How are we feeling? What are the vibes? What are the goods? Let me know! Bye!